mature adult with a business degree. Shout out to Sean Franklin. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Money, 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 money. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Shout out to Sean Ranklin. Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole. Because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you.
I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Nine, 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 nine. Oh my God, he's drinking gin. can't do it you guys welcome to the stream let me just change the scene hello everybody dark side feel here for overwatch tips uh how are we doing everybody as you can see there's a new layout wow the chat's in a new place there's some social links there's some other stuff um thanks for watching so far i can see one of them is already glitching out very nice so yes today what we're gonna do today is uh first we're gonna start with the guys uh bankruptcy meeting bankruptcy call let me just shut up this song now uh first we're gonna do this and then we're gonna start with what we are actually here today which is uh the the toxic halloween marathon featuring cat uh now it's, that's gonna be very hyped content very hyped uh, but first, uh, let's check out the dude's uh, Twitter account and what he's been doing recently. Now, recently, if you don't know, uh, Twitch had a massive leak. A massive epic scale leak. Think uh, Dark Souls. And uh, a DSP has been on their ass and he's been complaining about it. Uh, because he's still salty, obviously. Just let me refresh the chat because I can't really see it in Streamlabs. Uh, we have a request to not watch the, the bankruptcy. But yeah, I think we're going to check that out uh, at some point. Maybe later on. I don't know. First, I'm going to... I think I'll do the, the thing that the, the stream is actually existing for, which is the ESP fucking Halloween nonsense. And then we might check out the meeting. Because I heard it the other day. And... Before the detractor guy came in and started talking about uh, the business expenses and all that shit, Nancy was on his ass. And uh, she seemed kind of pissed. And it's also very funny to, to listen to the pig squirm. So I think we're going to check this out at some point. But uh, today, we're going to be... I'm fucking repeating myself. Let's go and check out his fucking Twitter. Now, the whole uh, Twitch stuff happened a couple of days ago where... Their source code was leaked, and the payouts for the creators were leaked, including DSP, uh, who made almost a hundred thousand dollars in in the recent uh, history. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see. Let's see first what he's been up to. Uh, yeah, rumor now is that Twitch is uh, that that Twitch knew, by the way, misspelled about the data breach since Monday. And said nothing, hoping nothing would come out of it to protect their own ass. Lawsuit time. <laughs> and this is the dude who 
who can't sue anybody. He can't find anybody to sue them and he can't like punish anyone in any way. Like you can see the dudes that leaked his info, it's actually one guy. He's not going to be found. He's not going to be sued. He's not going to go to jail. Like I I think that is uh, reasonable uh to say that's not going to happen. The guy that was DMCAing him on Twitter, not any repercussions, pretty much nothing going to happen. And yeah, generally nobody who fucks with him uh, faces any kind of reper repercussions even though he complains how uh, how they could be sued, they're breaking the law. Yeah, you're breaking the law, but if nobody does anything about it, then there's no punishment. So yeah, that's been it. There's, uh, again, another salty tweet. The fact that Twitch still hasn't made an official statement on the leaks besides they happened makes it seem like they're way worse than we think. I hope for everyone's sake and personal data remains encrypted because I just went through that hell. In the same fucking tweet. This this man is fucking out of his mind. He's saying... Literally what he did is acknowledges the leaks. Yes, they happen about his leaks. And then... He goes around and says... They, they're saying it because... Uh, to make it look uh, less damaging than it is. Like, dude, that exactly what happened to you. How can he have zero self-awareness? And again, we get another salty X tweet under that. Uh, they confirmed the breach. Our teams are working with urgency, whatever, whatever. Take this as a sign. A sign, all right. Going out of business. This guy, he's the most spiteful man alive. There is nobody else who can hold the grudge as much as DSP. You can cut him in line, and 20 years later, he's gonna be back. Uh, once you, you fucking trip, and you fucking die or something. He's gonna be at your funeral saying how much of a piece of shit you were back in 2005 when you cut him in line in fucking Wendy's. This is what, what we're talking about. Oh, this guy. And again, some other fucking takes. Apparently he says that uh, I always seem to jump ship from these businesses just before they start to sink. So now he jumped ship before because... They literally told him, you can't be making a living on our platform anymore. anymore. So he went on YouTube, which means he jumped ship, you guys. Totally. That's exactly what it means. Oh, more ranting about over-sexualized content. But you can see the more, the, the more recent the tweets become, the more uh, alcohol-fueled they are. Especially like this one. There was some gin involved. You can say this one was still some gin involved. Also zero self-awareness. Uh, lawsuit time, this is... When when he uses a GIF, you know he's he's plastered. He's absolutely fucking hammered. And, uh, yeah. And then hype for new releases. How amazing new releases are. Jesus fucking Christ. Let me just see if that poll closed. There was a poll. Oh no, it's still going. This uh, apparently Streamlabs doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, what time are those tweets? Now, these have been... Uh, Six hours, eight hours ago. Now I'm hearing some Streamlabs noises, which I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, a following on Twitch. That's great. From uh, Jay Ruiz Jr. Thanks. That's awesome. Uh, I managed to close the, the poll finally. Yes. So yeah, this is Gen Talk. Basically Gen Talk. And nothing interesting happened. Uh, first we can go and watch some more recent stuff to catch up with uh, Dave. Because I've been just basically... Uh, tweeting about him while I was taking a shit, not much else. So let's see, Snort Burnell, that's the first place we go, as usual, to see what recently happened. Um, yeah, Super Monkey Ball, defending his pizza, oh my god, Dave's pizza. This was fantastic. Uh, Nitter.net. Now let's go again and open the Twitter. And we're gonna waste a little bit more time here because I have to show you his pizza. That's fantastic pizza. That literally nobody would fucking enjoy ever. Now look at this. Look at this tweet. This golden tweet. Let me just zoom it out a little bit. Because I have an actual TV in front of me right now, so my, my eyes are blowing up. Now, DSP, the immoral. When my wife gets home from work and wants pizza, we don't order out. I make her a pizza. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. 
absolute nightmare. Now let's... Uh, I'm not gonna go into very deep analysis because you can see what is obviously wrong with this pizza. The, the crust is inedible because as you can see this shit is hard as a brick. In the middle you have a mixture of what looks like cumin entrails and a little bit of cheese. Yeah, pretty fucking trash. And this got a uh, 40... that 41 quote retweets? Yes, 41 of them. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, and people were making fun of it massively. It got 100 likes for no reason. But uh, also another fun fact is that he made sure to say we don't order out, even though we've seen him spend over $100 on DoorDash in one fucking day. That's some actual insanity. Uh, also, hello everybody in chat who is just joining in. Welcome. We're still looking at uh, DSP's Twitter. Not very eventful, but we saw this absolutely disgusting pizza. And this was also on Instagram, where uh, the replies were disabled, of course, because it's, it's DSP. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's just terrible. Now, let's check out the Snore Brunel, but before that, and I just remember this off the top of my head as, as I'm uh, doing it, there was a little salty segment on Ask the King in the end of it. Now, here, because we watched half of it, maybe, some of it, and I literally could not stand it any, any longer. It was terrible. We were having so much fun when we were looking at the uh, detractor bangers. And in the end, it was just depressing, so we kind of stopped. So let's see, is it here? I should ask, uh, actually not be watching his video directly. I don't want to be get, giving him, oh, this is great, forbidden math. You know what's, funny? One final you know what's funny, let's find out what's funny, Dave. Now, this is from the end of that stream that we didn't get that far. So, yeah, this is uh, how it ended. Some people will probably criticize this show and say Phil did not use Ask the King to debunk everything said about him. You're right, I didn't. I've legally been advised not to even bother with shit about like this anymore. That at this point, it's gone so far that malicious federal crimes are being perpetrated against me. There's no debunking that will help. Just fucking move on and ignore it and do positive stuff on the streams because anything that I address would just come back to bite me anyway. It's not going to help. That's what I've been told by legal counsel. But in addition to that, the funny part about that was nobody asked. I mean, nobody it. asked because they were banned. All of them were banned. They asked the first day after the leaks. They asked. Everybody asked. And they were all banned. And then nobody asked. Whoa, nobody. Yeah, of course, DSP. I had open forum questions. I had members who could post up. We had Twitter questions. Nobody asked. You want to know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because let me let me guess why. Because people are there to chill and escape their real life, outside of saving DSP's house, outside of uh, let it, making sure DSP pays his taxes, outside of making sure DSP has disposable income for his day off, outside of hitting the goal or having to compensate for not hitting the goal previous day, outside of uh, all the videos that have uh, emergency or alert in the title, outside of that, we're all there to chill and interact. And outside of all the rants about Dr. Disrespect, about Wings, about uh, Review Tech USA, and all the other people, you know. No one with a brain in their head cares about the drama. People- Your, your fans have been proven to not have a brain in their head debunked. Oh my God! Are these fucking sound bites too loud because I can see a straight up clip here. Let me see. Oh my god! Okay, this is a little bit better. Never mind. Nobody asked. People don't come here to my streams to hear about drama about me all day. And those that do are brain melted. <laughs> those that do come to my streams. Morons. Fucking worthless. Apparently, you're, you're brain melted morons. Who don't belong on my content. And I don't want them on my content. We're not here to talk about drama all day. We're here to have fun. I answered a bunch of great questions, right? Good stuff. And it was a great time. Okay? So, how fun was that? Versus if not I just very. talked about drama all day. And then wasted my time because... It Let me tell you how fun it was. When there was rants, 
on that ass the king it was a little bit of fun outside of that it was garbage it was a literal garbage 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 content unwatchable kim it was basically a, a time machine segment when you ask him literally any question about anything and he starts from well the first thing that i did way back in the days was this now you can ask him about a fighting game you can ask him about a fucking vr you can ask him about his taxes no matter what you ask him he goes 15 years ago very cringe but there was some uh, some interesting stuff about like review tech usa but it was basically regurgitating older stuff it was still kind of unwatchable shit doesn't ever satisfy these fucking malicious idiots and criminals, right? So what's the point? That's the thing. malicious idiots and criminals. Thing the people who are intelligent don't care. They hear this drama on the street, like who the people who are intelligent don't watch Dark Side Phil, and I include myself in that. If I was smart, I wouldn't be watching this shit. Who the fuck cares about this? <laughs> no one. I'm not here for that. I'm here to have a good time with Phil. Fuck off and leave us alone. Who cares about his house? Who cares about his cat? Who cares about his wife? Who cares about? his uh his mortgage and who cares about his taxes i don't know i thought i was here to chill i just wanted to chill and instead i got a 65 year old looking man with a vest on telling me how i need to tip him it was the best way to help and that's my mentality moving forward too fuck off to those who want to fucking mess with my life i'm here to have a good time and as you've seen you're never gonna change that i'm except literally right now People who are having a good time don't need to tell you they are having a good time. You can just see. You can just pop on somebody's stream and see it's fun. And see he's having fun and his chat is having fun talking about whatever the fuck they want to talk about. You know? Yeah, you don't have to sit there and tell me how fun his streams are. Because when I tune into his streams, I don't see that shit. I don't see it being fun. I see a bunch of people in chat being afraid to say literally anything. Being afraid to talk to each other. Being afraid of fucking everything. And a sweaty guy. Trying to play games desperately, barely. Still gonna be here. You don't need to tell me. Every day, putting out quality, fun, interactive content with people. They're still gonna support my content. No quality, fun, and interactive is in, in the world's largest quotation marks. Quality, fun, and interaction. That's like, that's not a, a thing. No matter what you say to me or about me, no matter what you slander, no matter what you do to me, I'm still gonna be here. So. You're just bashing your bare head against a brick wall. One day you're going to hurt yourself. So recommendation is to stop, move on. I know that people won't though. I know how the internet is. I know how obsessed these people are. Ironically, if literally everyone who, who was making DSP-centric content st stopped making it, he would be ir irrelevant forever. If it wasn't for all the edits and the interesting fun stuff that people do with his bullshit unwatchable stuff, he would not exist. He wouldn't. Nobody would care. Plus, we give his fans a lot of attention. We talk about fucking Only Ice Coffee and Snow Carl and Swaggins and Emerald 7 and all these people who gave him a lot of money. We talk about it. So they want their attention, so they go give him money. So logically, if nobody was making videos on DSP and he was the only guy producing his videos and putting it out, literally nobody would care. Blar. But I'm just happy that we're having a good time with games. It's the busiest gaming season of the year. Every day we're sitting here having a good time together, right? That's what it's all about, man. So thank you to those That's what it's who all are about. here for the ride and having a good time with me. And don't, don't care that we didn't talk about fucking drama all day. Oh, and also there's a, there's a thing with DSP that irritates me a lot. And uh, it's one of the... I watched the GTG video and he played the clip. I don't know. It's, it was something older. Uh, where DSP says, if you hear something about me that I'm a scammer, I'm a liar or something, don't go there. Don't trust anybody that's telling you. Just don't, don't think about it. Don't engage in it. Why the fuck not? If I heard somebody who I like is a terrible person, I would go check it out with the bias that they're not a terrible person. And that they would want to, you know, uh, I would want to prove that they're not a terrible person. Well, DSP tells you, no, you, you can't go out there. You can't look at anything. You can't be challenged in any way. Be just like me. That's not how it works. Ask the King, which would have been a complete waste of everyone's time. I appreciate that so much. And thank you all for sticking here and here with me. It's really been awesome. Uh, you know, past couple of weeks have been rough, and you guys made it a lot more bearable. Mm, you heard me sure. slurping, huh?
Hey, you're taking a sip too. Ladies and gentlemen, Very nice. that's it. And that's it. Pretty, pretty cringe. I gotta be honest, not not much. And now let's let's check out this one because it has uh it has spooky DSP, which is obviously the best DSP. That is an epic fucking intro. It's an dude. epic fucking warn intro. Warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. It's Sound a good? Fantastic right. snort. That's HD. Sounds good to me. So it's called Inside a Whale. <laughs> Inside a Whale? That's actually what the stage was called. I didn't even realize that. And currently we're in World 4, which is- So now there is speculation, and I'm not gonna make any claims, uh, of it, but, uh, allegedly, people think DSP was drunk when playing, uh, Super Monkey Ball, whatever it was. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting speculation, I don't know. You decide for yourself. I can't, I can't prove any of this. I've just seen that he, uh, he frequents, uh, Total Wine, which is an alcohol store, a liquor store, if you will actually called Inside a Whale. I didn't know that's what they were going for. I knew there was water, but I didn't know that we were actually inside of a freaking whale. Um... Kevin Bernstein has to be $20. Whoa, oh, Turtle has to be $23. He <laughs> looks so fucking inbred. <laughs> This dude look, looks so inbred, man. It's like his his mom and his dad are cousins. He's just you. You don't you don't make people like this. You don't make people look like this. It's just they they don't make them in the in the baby factory. Here's the problem: in a game like this, when you have to repetitively do the same thing over and over and over and over, what ends up happening is once you beat it a few times, your mind just doesn't want to do it anymore. Like, of course I know what to do. You follow the rings here. You build the momentum on the seesaw or whatever. See, but my mind doesn't want to do it anymore because I've done it a million times already. So my mind just go to the next thing. I can't. You can make you hyper focus on each little nuance of the stage and having to do it over and over ad nauseum. Your body's like, fuck this, don't do it anymore. Boring. You see? That's how my body is anyway. Like, once I do it a million times, like, now nah, you ace this. Just go on to something new and challenging because this is boring to me. So, because it's boring to me, I, you know, I fuck up and I don't do the early parts right anymore. So I never get back to the part that I need to challenge because I'm so bored by the beginning. This was a. <laughs> this dude is fucking trash. <laughs> He's explaining to you how, how bored he is of the game. Uh, in his chill and interactive stream, by the way, that we just saw that he said was fun and quality content. Uh, I can't figure out which one it is. Is it boring? Is he bored? Huge and critical flaw with games back in the day. Uh, hello everybody in chat that just uh, joined. Hello Prophet and uh, Vladisov. And uh, a man who is clean cut, discreet, very masculine. Welcome. They didn't have enough storage space to make enough content on a game so they would reuse assets or make things overly difficult on purpose. But today in the modern era, this is something that usually game developers don't do anymore. Uh, but back in the day- That makes me cringe. Ugh. This is very prevalent that they would do stuff like this. They would do the whole stage from the start. You screw up a later part of it or whatever, right? So, say now look. Yeah. And I hate this fucking game. I seriously <laughs> do. Remember, remember when fucking DSP bought a PlayStation 5? Uh, as you can see on your screen, and he left the box behind him as a trophy of, of being able to buy a PS5. But before that, there was a massive drama about his PS5 being delayed. So, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. But yeah, it's a, it's a trophy PS5, you guys. He has it. He's an epic gamer. And these special headphones that now are worthless, apparently, and uh, he's going to buy neck phones, which is like a necklace. Very nice. It's too annoying. That's what I mean, like, to have to do the same over and over. This is exactly what happened to me the other day when I was playing Cana Bridge of Spirits. So for those who don't know, Cana Bridge of Spirits is actually a quite a good game until the last boss. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but during the final boss fight, you have to go through these waves and phases of fighting repetitive enemies and platforming. And if you die at any point during the boss or the enemies or the platforming or the later phases of the boss, the game resets to the beginning of the fight. The fight takes like 15, 20 minutes. So I ended up dying a million times at the very end phase of the fight and I don't know what to do. And every time I had to waste another 10-15 minutes to get to the end again. That's 
terrible game design for the modern era. Now, if this game gets a pass, because this is a game from, what, the early 2000s, you know? But for modern games to have that kind of crap, that's really, 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 really bad. And, uh, this was one of the main factors why I thought the end of Canterbury of Spirits really brought the game down. So they fucked the ending sequence up. That could have been much better, because they really weren't seeing it through. Okay, here we go. This is my job. And it is about making money, but at the same time, I am a gamer. I'm a mature adult. Guys, we're $58 in tips, 42 away from a hat oh. that you guys get to choose. I'm still streaming for about another 30 minutes, roughly, okay? It'd be great if we can hit that tier 2 tip for $100. Please, if you please. like the stream, if you're liking me putting up with the zaniness of this game, the and zaniness of this game. please contribute if you can. Thank you. And now, or Turtle with another $23. Well, this sucks about being a variety streamer, quote unquote, that he picks games that he is fucking bored. It makes for trash content. Shit is boring. I'm sorry, DSB. It is. Play something you like. On a tip, I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look, it's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, I got time for like one more, maybe. So last chance, guys. Anyone who wants to contribute, now is your chance. Thank you to everyone who has. I really appreciate you guys chilling with me and enjoying the stream. What a wild stream it's been. I do what hope a wild stream! This. What a wild stream has been. Two minutes ago, he was saying he was fucking bored. What a wild stream! This is why you don't believe what people tell you. You make your own opinion about how you feel about it. Because this guy fucking sits there and saying how bored he is, how much he needs tips, and then he gets a little bit of money. Then wow, this is the most chill and interactive stream in life. Never had better. Jesus Christ, DSP. Stream. It's wacky, it's wild, it's fun, and it makes wacky, me go crazy. It's wild, That's why I'm not it's playing fun. it tomorrow. <laughs> this is something that every few days maybe I could do. I can't do this back to back. It's, it's crazy, it's stressful as shit, too, right? Um, but I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for watching. Good progress tonight. Thank you, obviously, to everyone who did contribute tonight. Uh, you know, at least a decent night. It wasn't a bad night at all. You know, super chats were great, tips were pretty good. No complaints. Stop on saying what kind of a night it is. You're pathetic. Stop it. It it shouldn't be a thing to say what kind of a night it was. Was it a great night or was it a slow night? I know it's your job, but stop. You can tell that to your wife. This makes you look like a fucking idiot piece of shit. I, my half, I, I want to say thank you for supporting tonight's stream. We need more money. We need more money. That's what this stream is about. Now, what I would like to do, okay? Now, listen up, because this is very interesting. Get money? Listen up. What I would like to do is I would like to leave the music on, which oh, is no. something that I normally would not do for a playthrough on YouTube, where I know that the videos likely are going to get content ID matched and claimed by someone else if there's music in it. Alright, but in the case of this game, the soundtrack is part of the game. No, dude in chat, you didn't miss anything. Uh, there's really not much to miss, we're just catching up on DSP and uh, dumb stuff he said. I haven't even started with the cat marathon, that shit is cringe. Oh, DSP was on Champions 7 hours ago. Cause there was like, 2 days I think, where he broke his streak. And uh, he was inactive, which in, in games like that means a lot because your, your login streak resets, so you kind of lose up on the reward, I think. Game, some of the music that has you know lyrics actually ties into the plot of the game, okay? So what I would like to do is keep the music in the playthrough. However, what I'm going to have to ask on your behalf then is that you guys, the live streaming audience, would help support the playthrough. Oh yeah, so I, I got a bag. I'm not going to make any ad revenue at all on the videos on YouTube. I guarantee you they're gonna get claimed. I guarantee you every video will probably get claimed, and I'm making nothing on Alan Wake. So, if you are happy that- He already made money on Alan Wake the first time he played it. Now he wants to play it again and get money again. Come on. How, how much do you fucking expect? Jesus Christ. And the, the music is gonna be turned off within two days. I'm just calling it. Number one, I'm replaying Alan Wake 11 years later in my new style. And number two, <clears throat> if you're happy, that I'm going to keep the music in and keep it kind of true to what the game really is. All right? Please support the streams. We need to raise more money. Looks pretty much exactly what I expected. Hold on. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Things. There we go. Uh, spooky Pig. Spooky no, Pig that, content. Uh, not webcam. Get rid of that. So, here I am. I'm sitting in the dark. Right? Why am I sitting in the dark? Well, because I'm playing Alan Wake today. And Alan Wake is a horror-themed spooky game. I thought, oh, so maybe sit in the dark and I'll play it. But now you can't see me. Oh, shit! Whoa. Oh, my God! <laughs> Dude, I almost shat myself. Dude, I almost crapped. Dude. <laughs> Whoa, no way, this is, uh... Oh, wow, look at that strobe effect. What the hell is that? 
Yeah, it's not the 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 strobe effect DSP. This this looks like a fucking live leak video. Jesus Christ! Why is there a strobe effect? That is so odd. <laughs> anyway, woo. Anyway, as you can see behind me, we've had horror themed decorations and everything in here. Clown themed decoration. This this has nothing to do with horror. It's like a child birthday party in the background. It's a fucking mess. It's terrible, terrible, ter terrible stuff. There is actually going to be an episode. Of feasting with the king on the Halloween marathon. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> please don't eat a human or something. I don't know. Make this shit special. Wow. Epic. Oh yeah. Let's see this massive, epic, amazing tweet. All okay. So Ubisoft has officially announced Ghost Recon Frontline, a new battle royale shooter. Now. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, not gonna play it, I don't care, I don't think it's a great idea. But DSP, all the moronic streamers with a 15 year old viewer base will now be able to play this terrible game instead of complaining that Halo Infinite doesn't have Battle Royale. Fantastic fucking takes. And this is why nobody cares about his Twitter, because it's garbage. It's just being toxic. Like, that's all it is. This morning it was announced, the new game from Ubisoft coming out soon, I don't know the exact date, Ghost Recon Frontline, a new free-to-play Battle Royale team-based shooter. Who would give two shits about another Battle Royale game in 2021, alright? However, the sad fact is, this all does, it is pertinent. Are you ready for this? You guys may not realize this, alright? But, recently, over the last weekend or two weekends, there have been a series of betas. Closed betas, they weren't open betas, but closed betas for specially select people who got to play Halo Infinite. And I hate to say it, but these people are people who are content creators on the internet. They make their living live streaming, all right? And they literally have said the following. Man, I don't, I don't really feel too positive about the future of Halo, man, because there's no battle royale. And I'm not talking just one or two people. I'm talking people as big as Dr. Disrespect have said this, smaller time streamers have said this. It seems like these people are- It's almost like you should go and make your own opinion, stupid ass. You should go and think about it yourself with the two brain cells you got left. Much easier. We're stuck in this mindset that if a game can't make me money... His login streak going for 1,344 days. Now that's an epic fucking mature adult moment. Epic. Uh, I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Ugh. Me on a stream, the game is bad. Ladies and gentlemen, that is incorrect. It does not matter if a game can make a content creator money because their viewer base will watch it. That is not the defining characteristic of a good huh? game. Huh? Huh? Then why is DSP wage quit so many games? Didn't get the money? Quit it? What? Huh? It's almost like he's a hypocrite or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, not DSP. Everybody else. It's all the shills and the streamers with the 15 year old audience. I don't care what other people say. It's oh, he doesn't care, guys. False rhetoric. He he doesn't care uh, except all his opinions are other people's opinions. Something he saw retweeted on Twitter. That uh, that's why he doesn't care. It's called let's spin this in a let's way that this. benefits me. And let's say that a game is bad, so people will avoid it and watch whatever I want to play on my stream because that brings me the big bucks. No, that's that's. That, that, that's literally not what it is. I, I don't even what, know what to say to dispute this. It's literally not what it is. What? They're not even saying it's a bad game. They're just saying it doesn't have this thing. Like, whatever. I don't know, man. It's too mature for me. And that's pretty unfortunate. That is pretty unfortunate. That people are talking shit about a game like that. Alright? But how funny is it? That this controversy is going on right now. Like, literally right now. This is all unfolding. And now Ubisoft announces, oh, Ghost Recon Battle Royale. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, seriously? Well, I'm done. Okay, I mean, it's gonna be yet another asset flip. Um, they already have the assets. They have all the, the engine data. They have all the fucking models from the previous two games they've done. They're just gonna make it super repetitive like a, like a Battle Royale is, and that's it. And you don't have to play it. It's going to be free. What's the issue with it existing? That's that's my problem. And my problem is that DSP, when he doesn't like something, it's not like most people where 
you would just kind of dislike the thing and not engage in it and it wouldn't bother you because you're not even you don't care about it he dislikes it to the point where he believes that everything he doesn't like just shouldn't exist that shouldn't exist because it's a bad practice and uh, streamers are gonna play it and he's not gonna play it so why would it even exist in the first place well it's because people fucking played bozo maybe nobody played hyperscape i don't know about that that i think is received as a failure to what i understand i haven't played it and i don't care about it but you know if they make it then i don't know and uh marty says in chat did they even say that halo needs a battle royale apparently dsp saw somebody on twitter who said that halo needs battle royale and that they don't think it's a good game because it doesn't have it and i literally don't care I'm not wasting any more time on this game. Number one, I'm not having fun. Number two, you guys aren't having fun because look, people aren't engaging. People are just making fun of the fact that I, I don't like the game and I suck at the game. And no, you know, the contributions are low. And also, I, I really like it when he tells people how they feel. Yeah, you guys are having fun. And you guys today in my chat, you're having so much fun because I can see you having fun. And you should believe when I'm telling you that you're having fun and you should think in your head that you're having fun. No matter what you actually feel. I'm telling you you're having fun. You should be. Oh, so if that's the case, it means no one likes the stream. What's the point to keep playing it? Right? What's the point? So I'm not going to bother anymore. I'm done with it. Okay? Ubisoft says, now we want to jump on the bandwagon. Now. No. No. Hyperscape exists. They already made a battle royale game that is free. It's not now they want to jump on the fucking bandwagon. Dude, this guy is like full on clown mode. For for most of the things that he says, you you just have to say no. That's not right. It's incorrect. I did nothing wrong. That's the reality of the situation. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Thank you, DSP. I agree with you. I agree with you. Like, I, again, there will absolutely be a customer base for it because of these content creators who literally thrive off of only playing Battle Royale. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this the game, whether it's good or not, will still be thriving because you're going to have these people who all they do is play Battle Royale and they have a, a likely very immature viewer base. Very they immature. They're not mature adults. Uh, with DSP, you need to be a mature adult to watch. If you're not, just fuck off. There's no point. Like, Derek, he's extremely mature, extremely adult. At Battle Royale. Extremely... Ugh, Derek. ...is the only kind of shooter out there that's good. They've been basically kind of, I don't want to say brainwashed, but what's the word? Conditioned? Mentally conditioned. conditioned to believe... It's like your fucking fans. What are you talking about? ...that Battle Royale is literally the only good first-person shooter out there. It Implying Battle Royale is a... singular game? It's not. No, then nobody has been conditioned. People play these games because they have enjoyment and they have fun. And people watch these streamers because they are enjoyable to watch to these people that watch them. That's kind of how it works. And DSP will never understand it because his streams are not about the content, not about the fun, not about the interaction. It's about him. And the only way, according to him, that you have fun and you show that you love his streams is to give him money and talk about him in chat. Talk about how amazing he is, how awesome he is at playing games, how great he was back in the days, how popular he was. That's for him, you having a nice time. And for other streamers that, as we saw from the Twitch leaks, I actually haven't watched them on the stream, but you can go check it out on Twitter. It's uh, pretty public information. They make in hundreds of thousands a month, which is pretty chill. People like them, people give them money. Whether or not you understand why people give them money, that's a different question. I can't figure it out either sometimes but that's how they feel not every game has to make a fucking streamer big money no really i mean that like not every game has to print money for some big time fucking streamer name okay what's what's wrong with big money what's wrong with that what's wrong with taking a, a corporation's money instead of begging for your money you the viewer or allegedly 15 years old but if you're a dsp viewer you're adult and intelligent and you have a brain in your head and you're not mentally ill and all that other stuff you know what i mean games can be good without streamers i mean did you guys realize that that a long time ago people used to play games and not actually stream them like it, games were popular before streamers existed did you know that 
Wow. So, for me, I just kind of shrug. I'm like, whatever. Listen, Ghost no, Recon it's, can... it's not whatever. It's not whatever. Because he made a tweet about it. He's bitching about it on his pre-stream. It's not whatever. He's obviously irritated by another trend that he doesn't care about. He's not going to jump out. He's not going to take advantage of to widen his viewer base. And he's at a point where everybody is so ahead of him that you can't even hope for new people to watch DSP. What are new people going to see? And I, I know I rant about this literally every stream, but what is a new person going into DSP content going to see? This terribly negative Twitter? This terrible fan art with uh, with a slideshow? This is what they're going to see? The, the snooze fest gameplay? This is what a, a new player is going to see. This is trash. Pump out a battle royale. Quite frankly, I really don't give a fuck. I'm likely not going to play it, or if I do... I'll just do a cursory glance. I mean, it's free to play, right? Cursory. I I actually want to hear what cursory means. Um, because he's been using it, again, hasty and therefore not thorough or detailed. So he's going to play it like, yeah, cursory. Now you know what I mean. I need to move this light because it's getting dark. I have a professional studio light. No, it's not going to work. Ah, fuck it. I'm leaving it where it is. Epic chill moment. Anyways, let's go back. Uh, cursory content. So, when it does come out, I'll check it out maybe for a game or two. And then I'll drop it like a hot rock and say, fuck this. And go play other games that I actually care about instead of just another fucking Battle Royale game. Because my viewer base is not a bunch of 15-year-olds. How do you know? you know? What is Derek? Is Derek... Oh, Derek is over 18 at this point. Who's nuts Yeah, it's not 15-year-olds. It's just uh, very manipulation-susceptible individuals. And wheelchair people. Who is like actual facts this is a fact of life that wheelchairs love dsp haven't dropped yet who are so drooling over the fact that battle royale is so adrenaline fueled and fucking full of testosterone look at my fucking quick shot sniping and all these abusable tactics to win battle royale bro how the fuck are people still doing this beating the same uh look at my amazing tactics at uh camping in a bathroom look at these tactics look at uh salty rants about uh, salty rants about other YouTubers, salty rants about Rambo, Howard, Twitch, Machinima, everything while while the gameplay rolls. You enjoy this more than a person actually winning in the game. Epic. Same dead horse. Like, it's the same shit, man. It's just cursory, man. The thing hasn't changed. It's the same fucking game. The same formula. The same shit. It's time to move on. It's time to graduate and grow up. Okay, Stop very quick lore on Derek. Who is Derek? Derek is a little Asian boy, he used to be, and now he's like over 18, who uh, was stealing his mom's credit card to tip DSP, and when DSP found out, he didn't say anything. Uh, and Derek is also a sexual deviant, he is a really big fan of adult movies where people go to the bathroom in the other person's mouth, you know what I mean? And I mean number two going to the bathroom. And uh, if you go and check out his Twitter, there's all kinds of related content to that. So that's it. And uh, thank you, Oathkeeper in chat. He's a massive degenerate. Stop pumping out the same garbage content because you got a bunch of fucking immature people on your stream who throw money your way because you play it. And then shitting on games that apparently are good. Yo, who's shitting on games? Not DSP, apparently. Because you Everybody else is shitting on games, not DSP. There's also ma my chat, as I can see on screen. I need to remove this stupid... Dude, YouTube is a complete detractor today. I need to dox YouTube. Uh, never mind. I'll fix it eventually. You don't think you can make you money is pretty fucking disingenuous if you ask me. Okay? I'm just saying. That's my take on it. I'm, I'm hypocritical. Yeah, and actually DSP knows about Derek and all the, the, the crazy stuff. And I think he unfollowed him on Twitter. For all it counts. Yeah. Very. Very, very hypocritical. Very hypocritical. <laughs> King of hypocrisy. Tell me about it, DSP. The hilarious part is you get a moron like this guy, Infrared Scopes, who's now banned from the chat, and he says, the reason I don't like Battle Royales is because I don't have the skill to play them. Oh, yeah, because all those times that I was playing Battle Royale, I never won a game, right? Never. What about camping I in the bathroom? I never won fucking player Nuns Battlegrounds. I never won Black Ops 4 Blackout. I never won Fort. I never won a game. You fucking idiot. Fucking dunce. <laughs> but I mean, come on, winning a game is 
not hard. I've won a game in Apex Legends. I, me, re, and I never played Apex Legends. I played it like for a couple of days and I won a game and that was about as much as I thought I would, could get out of the game and I stopped playing it. How you win? You, you stop while you're ahead. <laughs> what a complete moron. Okay. How did he, how did he know? Dude, sum this up. How did he know where I was? I was in the grass. No, dude, that guy was cheating. There's oh, no way. Of course he was cheating. If there was nothing I could do, the other guy was cheating, obviously. Hey, he's cheating. How it works. How would he have known? And he killed the other guy, too. He was somehow cheating. Oh, there was there was also this game and that's completely randomly derailing my own stream. There was also this game that you buy and uh, you only have one life. It's like a multiplayer shooter. And you die and then you can't play the game again. It's a pretty interesting concept. Like It's kind of like, uh, like the Squid Game, which is a very good show, apparently. Unless you're into you're not into graphic violence because at some point i would say it goes a little bit too far but a good show big ups for uh, all the squid there's no way how he knew i was there thrown completely no way dude no dude he's cheating that's a hundred percent cheating it would have been one thing oh i kind of see him i was prone there was no way she says a fucking cheater dude that's a cheater <laughs> Look, oh, let's see. Well, the... see, the problem is the kill yeah, cam, you can't see. see his point of view because he's on a vehicle. <coughs> yeah, look, you can't see me. Can't see me. All right, there he's oh, bullshit. Bull Why he can't see him? Why? What? Bullshit. No, oh. bullshit. That's bullshit. That's not true. He somehow he cheated, dude. That's complete nonsense. But anyway, second place, whatever. That's second place. This this dude cares about placing in in a battle royale game, and dude, I play sports games, so I've probably played uh over a thousand matches in in NBA 2K in total, and I never fucking gave a fuck what would happen if I would win or lose or whatever. It's just a game, unless it's like a championship game, and like in in the game championship, not like esports or something, but. This guy cares about where he's gonna rank in, in Warzone. And he camps in bathrooms, he's like the most spineless type of player where, you know, it's just like, weaseling his way through the level. It's just fucking terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. That's complete nonsense. I disagree with that, I completely disagree. Completely disagree. Completely disagree. <laughs> okay, now Chicken Man is the first tipper of the day. Finally fucking got around to fucking shouting this out. He says, how do you think true Italians feel about your pizza? It looks not so typical Italy style. They might be ashamed it looks like a street pizza in New York City. Put some herbs and stuff on that thing. Uh, now, Total Wines employee number 1651 says in chat, This is why he loves WWE champions. You can just pay your way to the top. This, I agree with. And also, it's because it's one of those games which complements his narcissistic personality and his gambling, uh, let's say, susceptibility. Because if you win in WWE Champions, then you're the best. You're a good player, right? But if you lose, then it was RNG. And there's nothing you could do. So in both ways, he kind of has an excuse already. So he's either a really good player, or there's just nothing I could do, man. It's the algorithm. So yeah, that's why he, he spent so much money on it. This kind of complements his personality. Uh, the pizza that I posted up last night is made from pre-made dough. I don't have time to make handmade- Oh no, we're talking about the pizza. Uh, I'm gonna pull that on screen while he's talking about it. It was, uh, disgusting. A dough at home. It's the Pillsbury dough that I just spread out over a pizza pan. It does actually have herbs and spices on it. You can't see it in the herbs. picture because it's fucking taken at night and not in high definition shit. Yeah, uh, no, I actually no, take no, a, a no, mix no, of no, different no. herbs and spices, no, including no, basil, no. oregano- No, 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 there's no excuse. There is no excuse. But, uh, please- Keep other things and I, I put it all into the crust and sauce uh, the sauce it's itself sauce. is actually ground italian tomatoes we use high quality this sauce. Is your we don't pizza. use the paste shit um it's turkey pepperoni on there and some cheese look at your pizza dave look at your pizza where the fuck did it go oh i'm not a full-time streamer you guys you know what i mean i have a job uh ah all right here here it is this is it disgusting beautiful pizza 
It's very basic. And the very hilarious basic. part about the idiots, you know, so many morons who want to try to criticize me making pizza at night. That doesn't look like there's enough sauce. Well, well, stupid, if you knew this, but you don't because you're dumb, you would know that with homemade pizza like that, because it's not in a pizza oven, it's not <laughs> hand Literally everybody clowned his pizza, but uh, you're dumb for complaining. You're dumb. It's a, it's an awesome pizza, even though like a, a quarter of it is just crust that looks unedible. Looks hard as a brick. Boston, Thanks, no. DSP. If you put sauce all the way to the ends of the crust, you pick up the, so the, the piece and it's floppy as shit, and it fucking falls apart. What you need to do is leave a significant amount of crust around the edge so you can hold the pizza and it doesn't crust. flop over. What? That's the problem with homemade what? pizza. Sorry, I don't... What is this fucking Italian excuse? I have like a wood fire oven or a real pizza oven and I don't... Yeah, have... yeah, a real fucking pizza oven. Get the fuck out of here, DSP. Dough that I'm tossing with yeast in it. I'm using okay. pre -made... The dude doesn't know how to unfreeze a thing unless it says on the packaging how to unfreeze something or how to do a... Like a, a, an already made meal that you buy for like five bucks and you just put in the oven to like a whatever degrees. He doesn't know how to make this and he's explaining you pizza. He's explaining you how to make a fucking pizza. When his pizza looks like this. Thanks for the fucking explanation, DSP. I'm writing down notes as we speak. Hey, dough bought from the freaking refrigerator at the grocery store, you know? Yeah. So Epic dough. you can't go crazy. You have to put limited sauce, limited cheese when you're making homemade pizza, or else the whole thing becomes soggy as shit. Yeah, shut the fuck up. But again, people wouldn't That's know bullshit. that because they're dumb. They just yeah, want to sit there and criticize and be stupid. Everybody is dumb. Not the, the the guy that everyone is literally making fun of. Everyone else is dumb. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. I agree with you. I agree with you too, DSP. Even though I don't like you very much. Guess what? The pizza was amazing. We really enjoyed it, and uh, we have leftovers too to eat later. Uh. You know, when we want some maybe a night piece pizza or whatever, it was really good. So, okay. Vomit inducing. I ate it. I legitimately got sick to my stomach <laughs> and couldn't stop shitting. Uh, Snort Burnell undefeated and once puking. more. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back, back of, my of my head, mind. the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I agree with I you. I love it. I love it. He's, he's a mobile game addict. <laughs> it was, it mobile game. The way DSP says it. Fantastic. Oh, Jesus Christ. Doctrinated children. So that's it with the, the Snort Meister. The Snort Burnell. The, the one and only Snort Burnell. Now, uh, we can go and check out the... the Marathon failure with Cat. Let's see if, if here it is Steven's fault. Because I'm not sure if it says, if, if this is in the actual video. Ah, I think it's here somewhere when he goes to the PC. And then it becomes Steven's fault. So now, some lore before we begin. Uh, welcome to the chat, obey our master. And uh, thanks for wishing that I'm doing well. I am doing well. I'm having a beer. I'm about to get another one. And uh, you guys strap in. We're gonna look at some uh, cringy, toxic Halloween. Now, the story behind this is uh, DSP convinced Cat to come on stream for Halloween. This was uh, in 2018. And then, what happens next will shock you massively strong. Uh, now, I'm not gonna spoil this for people who don't know. Some people know. Of course, it's uh, the Tevin's fault meme, the Tevin's fault moment. But uh, in case you don't know, I'm not gonna tell you what, what is about to happen. That is the best dead scene ever. No! That is the best dead streams. Salt is very positive. Salt is very low cost and they are abundant. <laughs> so in my opinion, they are going to be used for long term. Shiloh is doing math in chat. Uh, that's commendable. I, I don't understand what this means. Is it? It's not 1651. I, I'm, I have no idea what it means. 1344? I don't know. I'm sorry. Tell me what it means. We just have to control the corrosion process. We can never prevent it completely, but we can detect it and slow it down through coating selection. Thank you very, 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 very. Oh, 1344 is the, the days he logged in in a row. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, pretty much. Thanks for the money, dummies. Am I poisoned? 
Why am I toxic? All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. We're going to be playing Resident Evil. Moving Agent. on, yo, not moving on. I want the the introduction segment where they're full screen and they they explain their outfits. That's pretty awesome. Let me check this because uh, yet again I'm unprepared. But uh, today at least we don't have massive uh, what was it performance drops. Now, ESP Cat Halloween. And today I'm streaming on 4,000 bitrate. I wonder if it's any better quality. I hope it is. Now, this is an epic video. You can go watch this. It's, a, it's an awesome video by uh, the Almighty One. But let's see Snort Burnout. Snort Burnout. The, the tried and tested detractor. Just to play the game! Now, let's see. Oh, it's here somewhere. Okay. Pig um. Ross. <laughs> I like how you're laughing too. Well, it's funny. One. Wow. Yes. Hashtag Pig Ross. <laughs> Phil Ross. Hello, my children, and welcome <laughs> to my Halloween stream for 2018. How are all of you? I hope you're ready for a day full of spooks and goblins. Many happy little mistakes that will touch up today during the course of today's stream. Yes, everyone, a little happy little cloud over here and a little smiley face over here yes oh my god it's terrible <laughs> blob ross <laughs> that's a hot chat comment jesus christ now the actual marathon itself when they play games is completely uneventful and uh, i would even say it sucks and it's boring so that's why i'm watching this type of video maybe later we're gonna watch the other dsp halloween stuff and the problem with DSP content when you watch it raw is that it's fucking boring. So that, now that's a challenge for me to make this somewhat interesting of a watch. Uh, thankfully, we have Snort Burnell. And with me today, I have the lovely cat on stream. The lovely <laughs> say cat. Say hello, honey. No, you're not going to say hello? No, okay, I can say hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Yes. Hostage yes. mode. Many of you today have shown up already, my little children, and I thank you and I welcome you. Uh, I just wanted the chat for this one. I, I wonder if they have a version with this with chat. I'm sorry I'm derailing this so many times. Uh, the, the roller coaster completely went off the rails. But uh, the chat has been dropping epic comments, and I wonder if they're going to find it here somewhere. Somewhere, you guys. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think so. Anyways, back to your regular scheduled uh, Snort Brunel. You to my happy little stream here today. And so as we play today, we'll make sure that all the mistakes of nature are touched up with little paint jobs. Yes. Oh, also, the, the lore is that after this disaster, Cat went on an actual Halloween party. And DSP didn't go because he's DSP. So she probably got... She probably got her cheeks clapped at that point, if I gotta be honest with you. If I gotta be honest with you, she probably got clapped. Yes. <laughs> Alright, guys. <clears throat> so, thank you. Here it is. Who am I? I'm obviously a 1970s Big disco Ross. dancer. No, I'm not. So, I told you guys. Terribly, terribly low effort costume, even for DSP. And I know I'm not uh, gonna talk shit, because if I have a Halloween thing, it's probably gonna be pretty boring too. But... This, come on, 13 year legacy. It's trash. I told you that I would be something that would have high stream interactions, yeah. remember? So, obviously, with the amount of Bob Ross emotes. emotes that are in the stream chat already, I figured this would be a cool costume. And obviously, as we're playing horror games, who better to guide you through the world of horror <laughs> than a man who puts his little happy little touch on all things, right? But I'm gonna have a problem because his beard keeps falling off. So if you play today, the beard's gonna be coming off. Yeah. Of course, the he's already pre-ordering the complaint for what he's gonna whine about. It's the beard. Constantly. So Kat here is in her nice steampunk outfit looking very gorgeous. Steampunk. Today. They can't really see Everybody it. called the fucking We're raccoon outfit. Nobody this was hilarious. You, though. And I'm I'm watching the stream and, and the whole chat is like, is she a raccoon? Is she a witch? Oh, it's very funny. And and DSP can't see I mean, of course, he can see the obvious trolls in chat, but he can't see the low-key trolls. So people are asking her, like, how did you come up with this outfit? 
it's beautiful. It's like I've never seen a steampunk raccoon before. And DSP would read it out and be like, whoa, they're asking you this cat. They're so surprised at your outfit. It's like, no, you're just clowning her. Her, her makeup is always terrible. And there, there are so many makeup YouTubers. Come on, just watch James Charles. No, yeah. maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's a very nice outfit. <sighs> But yes, I hope that you guys uh, like my hair. If I gotta be honest, her outfit is much better than his outfit. I gotta be honest with you. I styled it for several hours yeah, this you morning fucking to styled it. for today's happy little stream. And I know that all of you today, all my children will hear me here <laughs> and, and looking forward to, to playing horror games with me today. Yes, yes. Blah, 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 blah. It's already in your mouth. It already is. And it's funny because, so you guys can see, so I have my drinks today, but there's no way I can get the drink to my mouth, so I have like a straw to try to get straw. it. Straw. Oh my god, you can't even... The beer. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine, you're sitting next to your husband on a live stream, and he's literally even incapable of, of drinking from a straw. Like, this is how much of a baby he is. And he shows up with her. To be like, oh, you see you guys, this is my wife. And she's, f ah, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's fucking terrible. It's cringe. Mm, I'm thirsty. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> that, it, it's, it's disgusting in my opinion. Like, I'm actually disgusted. It's going to be an ordeal to get through today, but it's okay. Sounds good. Look at this. Oh my god, a lot of emotes. One million. There's like a million Bob Ross emotes. I knew this would happen. A million Bob Ross. Yes, my children. I knew today you would all like to get a nice taste of, of Very good comment. Bob Ross. Let's investigate. Your lives. Noisy Prairie face. says in chat. Shut up, DSP. How fat is Cat now? I have no idea. Because these uh, allegedly. And it's not even allegedly. We, we saw in the, the leaks and everything. These dudes eat a massive amount of food. Who eats? Like, how much do you eat, dude? You're seeing DoorDash for like 100 bucks or 80 bucks or some shit like this. The other day, I had a meal at a restaurant with four people. And it was sort of a business meal. And we ate all like a, a solid meal, I would say. And we have to pay $60 for everything. Like drinks and everything included. How do you even order $80 of DoorDash? What do you get? How much? I'm so interested in this because this is the guy who begs, who can't, like, he was going to lose his house, his wife was going to leave him, uh, his cat was going to explode all over the place or whatever. Uh, his, like, ah, oh, I don't even know. Cat has to be, like, curls and twirls, Carl uh, in chat says very accurately, cat has to be wing size by now. It has to be. What the fuck? right there fucking just vomit and retch all over the place a happy face to to give you a nice oh you know what hold on let's make a happy little tree right over here while we're here <laughs> a nice little tree ah oh, yes uh, puffy puffy little cl terrible clouds up here yes very nice <laughs> so many hairs in my mouth Ugh. this cat is uh is off now. Like I told you guys, well, I said this last night, but I don't know if, how many of you guys were here, obviously, last, uh -oh. last night's stream. Salty. Cat was not going to be here all day anyway. Um, this is her. I love how this skips the entire, the entire gameplay because this gameplay, and I watched the Tevin stream about this maybe 3,000 times. The gameplay is below worthless. It's literally like fucking insane. Only day off this week outside of our, our next day off together, which is uh, Monday. And she's got stuff she wants to do, you know? She's got stuff she got to take care of, and so uh, I want to say- No, hey, she literally went to a fucking party. She went to a party to socialize and have fun and be chill and interact with other people. You, you get it? I said chill and interactive. Uh, and she went to have fun and she was, okay, not going to be spoiling it for you, for all the, the new guys. Thanks obviously to her for being here for the first couple or a few hours. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Dan in chat says the gameplay is just him going, yes, yes. And that's what it was. Because he dresses up like somebody and has no idea how to act like them. And uh, after this video, this uh, content, we're gonna go and check out his other Halloween themed stuff because his outfits 
are interesting. Uh, of the stream. You know, nice of her to join us and dress up and everything. But she's off. She may be here later tonight to say goodnight, like, at the end of the stream. But, yeah, she's off to do other stuff now. Okay? Some people earlier were asking what happened to Cat. What happened uh, to Cat? Bottom line is... Bottom she, line you is... You know, basically... By the way, he is drunk in this video. There is no way DSP, Dark Side freaking Phil, is not drunk in this video. Like, uh... And, uh, listen to it with me. I'll, I'll go back a little bit and like play it again. Uh, and you'll stream, see. But... Yeah, she's off to do other stuff. And yeah, boy, I will, uh, down forward punch, I will go and watch the Colonel Sanders one because this is some of my most favorite uh, DSP Halloween stuff. Uh, come here, boy. This is some, some great okay. stuff. Some people earlier were out. Now, now, just watch this and tell me if he's fucking drunk or not. Or, or I'm just drunk at this point, but I've only had a beer. So, X doubt. Asking what happened to Cat. Uh, bottom line uh, is, she's, you know, basically bummed out that so many people were trolling. Oh, <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's bummed out that people were trolling. Because uh, Tevin was having a restream, and obviously a lot of people like to impress Tevin. And uh, they go in DSP's chat, because at the time it was Twitch, so you could just make an account and, and write stuff. Uh, and they were making jokes about how she looks. I guess. Allegedly. This, uh, maybe happened. Oh, and it sucks, because I knew it that sucks. was going to happen. As I've told you guys, you know, previously. <laughs> There's a shithead on the internet. <laughs> myself or my content or any of the negativity associated. She has nothing to do with the content, but she was in like three videos. So she is in the content. I, I don't get this. Like, come on, if you put your girlfriend there for the camera. Yes, you're going to get more money, but you're going to get more criticism and people shitting on your girlfriend. About her being fat or her being ugly or you can't put on her, her makeup or whatever. And and yeah, uh, Noisy Prairie, he does look very old. And this is probably the only guy that I've seen in my life who has aged like 10 years within two years. It's crazy. He's like the reverse Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button? Yeah, that's the guy. With me and she thought, oh, this would be something nice to do to dress up for Halloween and come by the stream and hang out with everyone. And the excessive amount of trolling that was going on basically got excessive to her. Amount she of trolling, says, I want to go do other stuff. You know, I've been here for two. <laughs> I want to go to a party with my friends instead of being abused by people online who call me ugly. Even though she could have had better makeup. Come on. Games. And I'm not in a good mood anymore. And oh, yeah. And the chair is going crazy. The chair is, is like earthquake and i want to do other stuff so she did basically she went on she you know she's actually not even home right now she wanted to leave oh yeah she's not even home mood. went to get pipe um you know and it sucks it because sucks because i would she's you know, probably sucking right about now honestly if the trolling wasn't so bad and if things weren't so nasty she probably would be in my stuff a lot more often i know you're lying but that's the reason why she really hasn't been in anything because the trolling got so nasty you know, stuff about stupid shit, you know. Stupid shit. About how she cheated on her boyfriend with DSP. She was texting DSP at the time. She was living with her old boyfriend, Mr. Jeff, uh, the Subaru guy. Some shitty stuff like that. Or her sister being about homeless? Her... Question? I don't know. Looks about her past stuff that has nothing to do with any... They, uh, allegedly, she was uh, exercised by her parents when she was a child. That's what I heard in Minecraft, obviously. Anything going on. And, you know, it pisses me off because this is something special that we were building up and talking about for, for weeks and weeks. And she was really excited for it. And she went and got a costume for it and everything. And here she is trying to, she was going to start doing commentary. The first thing she sees when she looks at stream chat is trolling and nasty. Really commentary. Cat doing commentary. When, when the fuck did this happen? Never. He didn't even let her play a game. That's how chill and interactive their, their Halloween party was. It was depression. And uh, Timo, I, I do think Cat's sister has some sort of an addiction, but I can't say for sure. Uh, I, I can't. I'm not an authority on that, and I don't have the info, so... Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. You're getting a non-answer. <laughs> ...shit about her. 
And it totally turned her off. And basically after two games, she was like, I just don't want to be there anymore. And I was like, all right, you know, I'm not going to make you. A little sensitive sissy ninny. Uh, Subaru Man should link up with Liana. That, that would be an epic fucking couple. <laughs> the exes. You know, they really are. Little special snowflakes who've been pet, pet and pet? You know, protected by their parents all their lives. Like DSP? <laughs> Literally know, the, really the single child who his dad got him a job? I'm I'm thinking right now. I'm I'm rubbing my chin. Really are upset, you know. It sucks, and I I just want to say thanks to the mods. The mods are doing a good job today. I don't want the mods to feel like they didn't do a good job or whatever they did. Like when it was happening, I saw they were shutting it down fast. <laughs> Very good point in chat by First Phil, who says, uh, "You sloppy seconds." Yeah, yeah. Don't don't do the sloppy seconds. Even though I'm 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 questionable on the. Never mind. I'm, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. It's I'm, I'm getting disgusted by myself. I'm just going to ban. I'm just going to ban you guys. Permanent ban. Screw Permanent you. Ban. But, you know, there's nothing much else that we can do. Oh, there's um, nothing we can do. You know, okay. DSP tries it. There, there's a sick motherfucker on the internet called Tevin. Shout out. <laughs> this is it. This is it. There's a sick motherfucker called Tevin. Yeah, it's, it's Tevin's fault. Who likes to illegally reach restream <laughs> my fucking streams? Oh my and has God. an army of fucking. This this is what's called uh, standing up from my wife. Trolls who are the only reason why he has any notoriety is because he copies my shit and he eggs his trolls on to do negative shit like this. To no, that's that's literally fake news. <laughs> it's literally fake news. Jesus Christ, Tevin never told anybody to go on stream and say anything to Cat. There's just people trying to impress him. So they go in DSP chat and say something outrageous and Tevin says it on his stream. That's kind of how it works. Oh my god! Oh my god! What was oh that? Oh my god. It's Tevin's fault. What was that? That was the messiest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What the what? fuck? Come to what? my stream and to basically make fun of my girlfriend and do nasty shit. It's his fault that this kind of stuff happens. It's Seven's fault. I'm good at lying. <laughs> and anyone who supports that kind of fucking content is a mentally ill asshole who has no fucking conscience or morals. And the bottom line is the only reason he does it is because he knows he can get away with it because YouTube won't shut down his streams even though what he does is completely illegal. They don't care. YouTube does not give a shit. No, come on. I, I would say not even... It's not illegal, but it's it's actually good for people because he makes DSP content somewhat watchable. And he tries his best, and it doesn't always work, but there was one point where he was restreaming DSP every single day, both streams, I think. Or maybe just one, but but it was still literally every day, and it was so much more watchable than just watching DSP. Because watching DSP play games, which is by the way, the thing that he does for a living. It's terrible. It's unwatchable to, to be on DSP stream watching him play games. That's not a, a thing. It doesn't happen. So he runs away. Can't do it on Twitch anymore. He's banned from Twitch from doing it. So now he has to go other places where basically it's like the Wild West and they won't listen and they won't shut down stuff that's illegal or bullying or, or you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's bullying, um, guys. You know, and it sucks because I really, we were, we were looking forward to today a lot. And Yo, I also had the idea to watch some stuff outside of DSP, like uh, some Christian stuff or some Wings stuff or something else. But I, I don't know if you're gonna be up for that. Maybe towards the end of the stream. I don't. I don't know. Whatever. And basically, after two games, she was so upset. She was like, "I just don't want to do this anymore. I'm not having fun because." No, there was just no point to her being there. Why was she even there in the first place? Why was she on the stream? She just sit sat there and looked like a raccoon. And at some point she left, and that was it. That was that was all. There wasn't much that happened. She didn't play a game. She didn't talk about the game. It was just DSP stream with a cardboard cutout of a raccoon in the background. That's all that it was. I can't if I see a word. People. Yeah, and Tevin got his purple check mark. Tevin is is bawling on Twitch, and I wish him all the best. He deserves it because he had to do all these DSP restreams because DSP got him banned off Twitch, and it's. Fucking stupid. 
uh, that that happened, and I'm glad he's doing his own stuff. He did like a 30-something hour stream the other day, where every time you make a charitable contribution, uh, he would extend the duration of the stream. It was pretty crazy. Very good. Very nice. Big ups, Tevin. Could people criticize me about anything that I say, my looks, and, you know, I'm just... Yeah, because you look like shit and everything you say is stupid, basically. You should watch what you're saying and take care of yourself. That's kind of how it is. Do it anymore. So, uh, it sucks, you know, but it is what it is. You have complete fucking utter losers on the internet who will insult people who've never done a damn thing to hurt anyone. And it makes me angry and it obviously upsets her, but there's nothing we can do to control it. Obviously. I apologize for that, guys. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, and, you know, we just got to move on. What else can I say, right? So, well, all I can say is, sadly, you know, don't expect Cat to be on uh, It's actually, I, I don't agree that you don't have anything to do on a stream when when it's dsp stream and you're just featuring in it because you can see with angry joe and a bunch of other people they have co-hosts and stuff they have plenty to do you can read out the chat and like chat comments that you like and you feel like you can respond to you can talk about some stuff that's happening in the game you can literally play the game so yeah you have plenty of stuff to do it's just he wasn't proactive enough to let her do anything even though Chad asked, you know, are you gonna let her play a game or something? And she wasn't proactive enough to actually have a desire to do anything. And she didn't go out and ask to do something, so, you know. Frequently, you know, this was a rare occurrence where we had her on for something special. And look what happened because of fucking Tevin and his shithead fan base. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just gonna say it one way. And hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. <laughs> of course. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. This cat is, uh, is off now. Like I told you guys, well, I said this last night, but I don't know if, how many of you guys were here, obviously, for last night's stream. Cat was not going to be here all day anyway. Obviously. Um, this is her only day off this week. Outside of our, our next day off together, which is, uh, Monday. And, uh, and DSP is off today because... Cat's manager determined that today is going to be her day off. So that's kind of how it works. That's stuff she wants to do. You know? And it's directly their fault 100% and nobody else. Uh, Marty asks, is there a running detractor theory as to how he met Cat? Uh, that he had a, an issue with his OBS and he posted on Twitter. Then she posted a response to that and she helped him out or, or something. And then uh, they became soulmates. And nothing happened in between. He wasn't pretending like he was single. She wasn't already dating and living with a different guy. You know, as as you would expect, it was just like uh, like soulmates. You know what I mean? Because you you oh, I make my living and notoriety off of making fun of Phil. You're a scumbag. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic, over dramatic, drama queen toxic. The Phil drama show every day. And you don't deserve any of any popularity you ever got. And you are eventually going to pay for what you're doing. Just so you know. It always comes back to bite you in the end. You will end up having it hurt you. In <laughs> I love this. I love this. Now, uh, threatening, threatening DSP is my favorite version of DSP. Where he makes all these threats about how what you're doing is illegal. And you're gonna suffer all the consequences. I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna fucking put you in jail, and it's illegal, and then nothing happens. Nothing happened to, to Tevin, nothing happened to the guy with the leaks, nothing happened to the guy with that DMCA'd him on Twitter, nothing happened to the people that were pretending to be Rockstar Games and, uh, and got him fucking copyright strike on YouTube. Nothing happens, but he makes those empty threats. Like, like an old man sitting like at a balcony and being like, yeah, I'm going to call the police. No, you're not going to call the police. You're literally not going to do anything. Then why, why make threats? One way or another, long term. It ain't going to be me, but something's going to come back to get you in the end. When you do so much negativity and just toxic shit, it's going to come back to get you. Trust me. Um, but it is what it is. I can't stop him. Yeah, I don't think DSP is streaming... Far Cry 6 today, even though I would watch it. 
Uh, and also, what's wrong with my time zone? You should be seeing this stream and like the, the start time and whatever at your local time zone stuff. I don't know if, if that's any difference. Like when I set a stream to air at a certain time, you should be seeing it in your local time zone. Anyways, for me, DSP streams at uh, 7.30 in the evening. That's his morning stream. And the evening stream is since he said he wants to be uh, flexible to Europeans. Big X to doubt. Uh, he's streaming at... I don't even know when. It's like at 3 o'clock at night or something. Sometimes when I used to work my old job, I used to wake up at like 5 o'clock to get ready for my shift. And he would be streaming. And that would be his, his flexible thing. Oh, he's he's playing games today. Hold on. Yeah, because this is how much I care. Uh, I don't even know what's his day off. I don't I don't really care. I thought... Let me actually see. What is what is this? Uh, DSP Gaming. So we might go and check him out when he starts. Uh, 710. Oh yeah, Far Cry 5 premiere. Far Cry 6 premiere. And uh, it's today. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, in 101 minutes. Maybe. Yeah, this fucking sucks. Anyways. So back to this. You know, I can't do anything about it. Uh, it sucks. And that's life, right? Um, so anyway, that's what happened. Because a lot of people were wondering what the hell happened when she was on the stream. She didn't look. She, she was having fun. And then she left after two games. I thought she was going to be here all day. That was the plan. <laughs> she was having fun. Like what? What did she do that was fun? What happened that was fun with her? That What? Come on. And, and the whole thing got shut down because of that shithead over there. Okay. That shithead over there. Is, uh... Yeah, okay. Somebody else's fault that uh, my wife isn't comfortable on my own streams. Somebody else's fault always for him being a deadbeat husband. Very interesting. It is off now. Like I told you guys, well, I said this last night, but I don't know if, how many of you guys were here, obviously, for last night's stream. Kat was not going to be here all day anyway. Um, this is her only day off this week, outside of our, our next day off together, which is uh, Monday. And she's got stuff she wants to do. You know? He's a piece of crap. <laughs> he's a lying piece of crap. That guy is such a two-faced, fat piece of shit. Obviously. He pisses oh, me off. Like, God. I seriously hate people like that, that are so fucking dishonest and two-faced. And, and will do anything to make a fucking nickel. He's disgusting. That's insanely <laughs> dishonest. Insanely dishonest. Dishonesty for me is a big So thing. now, do we watch more DSP Halloween? Um, let me see. Now, yeah, this one with <laughs> Colonel Scamanders. Okay, let's go. Uh, Noisy Prairie says uh, she really needed to go to that party without DSP, implying that DSP would want to go to any party ever. Because, dude, there's this weird situation that would happen where, you know, if you work with somebody, at some point, they're gonna ask, what does your husband do, you know? And it, if you're hanging out with somebody at a party or something, they're gonna ask you, what are you doing? And then, what are you gonna say? You're gonna say, my husband is a Twitch streamer, a uh, Let's Player, a video creator, whatever. They're gonna ask, okay, can I look him up or whatever. And you say it's fucking, it's, it's dark side Phil. And you go look him up and there's an entire community based on how much fucking terrible asshole douchebag this guy is. What a fantastic uh, thing to talk about with somebody, with a, an acquaintance or a, a co-worker of your fucking girlfriend. Doing the previous voice, just get it low, get a little bit of rasp to it. And even if you take away all the, the scam stuff, all the fucking toxic shit, he's still jerked off on YouTube. That, that will never change. That's the thing that he's known for. It's the guy who jerked off on Twitch, on YouTube, but you know, the, the, the clip. With the guy yeah and that's all there is previously on what the f i went back in time we're going back in time Oh 
all these terrible outfits that he bought. The the Ezio one. <laughs> this fucking outfit. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. Jesus Christ. Oh no, Pandal Re. <laughs> oh Jesus. All right, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna go get a new beer. You watch this, I guess. Now is with me. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Master. All right. Sounds and good. I want to make sure subtitles are enabled. Basically, uh, I lost all my save data for this game. I was looking, and I couldn't find any save data on my console anymore. So it'll be just like starting over, which is fine. Let's actually up the brightness a little bit. There we go. That should be good. Subtitles on by default. Good. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a happy little zombie having a nice midnight meal. Mmm, delicious. It's a happy little zombie, you guys. got some paint dripping from his mouth. We'll have to get some uh, a cloth to clean him. Yes. Now, this is the hardest mode. I wonder how many knife hits it would take to kill this guy. I feel like a hundred knife hits. Hundred knife hits confirmed. You already grabbed me. I only got him once. But wait, what the fuck is this? Why are we watching? This is the actual gameplay, by the way. Uh, this is the actual gameplay that that you got. What is happening? Oh, this is yeah. This is the scammers one. Okay, I I actually ended up scamming you guys. So this is the gameplay that was that night that happened. Uh, this is the gameplay. It's DSP. We're looking at chat. Uh, some comments that are not from DSP's channel, I think, and uh, a lot of cringe. And then it's Tevin's fault, obviously. Now this is the one we actually wanted Hope to watch. Hope you're ready for this. Hope you're ready for this. I know I'm not. I'm certainly not. So I don't know how you could be. If I'm not ready, I don't know how you're ready. I'm still getting ready, actually. I'm trying to get this costume on. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're going to start in a second. This is going to be a brief costume reveal. All right. Re uh, we're probably going to tune in for the pre-stream today as a massive storm is happening outside. Oh, I hope I make it, you guys. I don't know if I'm not uh, if I'm gonna make it. You should send me tips right now. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. You don't have to. Brief costume reveal, maybe a little bit of Q and A. Colonel's jump into uh gameplay. All right, continuing on with my uh little. A uh, very nice comment in chat by Sly, who said. Oh no, that's the wrong one, but I'm gonna read your comment anyways. If Panda made a, a truth about DSP video, she would blow up. But as most people, they kind of want to stay away from DSP and the spotlight. Um, I, I would say Rambo and Howard went the furthest where they made an actual video about DSP, but I don't think Panda wants anything to do with him. He's just too pathetic. Uh, he's not really all that up there with being such an asshole where you kind of expose him if you've been his ex, but he's just kind of too too lame for this man. Uh, so the comment that I wanted to read is, DSP is even more obnoxious when Cat is around by Adrian. Um, yeah, totally, because he has this, this different persona of the cool husband guy, and also he, he's like, oh, you guys, check out my wife. I, I have a wife. I'm so cool. I have a wife. I'm so mature, and I'm such an adult. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. That I have a wife. Playthrough. Only mature adults have wives, obviously. But, FYI, you guys this year voted on categories of Halloween costume for me to wear, all right? And the winner of the poll was Pop Culture. Something from Pop Culture. The 2020 Halloween costume reveal. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, that makes me cringe. Ugh. <laughs> How you doing, boy? Uh, hello. Uh, hello, boy. Hi, I'm Colonel Sanders, and I'm here to welcome you to the Halloween Marathon for 2020. What? 2020. 
Yeah, Welcome, I hope boy. You're ready for this, boy? I hope you're ready for this. There's something wrong with my mustache. You are ready for that, like boy? That something's a little crooked here. Oh, uh, cringe, something's bro. I don't know. Hmm. You posted Usually, cringe. You find me in the kitchen. Speaking of cringe, uh, yesterday I watched the. This is. I'm so derailing my chat. I'm sorry if I lose like 50 viewers right now. But uh, speaking of cringe. I saw Keemstar being on Aiden Ross's stream, and that was shit was so cringy. You can go check it out. It's like a one minute clip. It's the funniest shit ever. But uh, let's go back to this video, boy. Cook a chicken, but today something special for you. I'm gonna be here on stream all day long, playing spooky style scary games with you. A holiday, special holiday event. Halloween 2020, everybody. <laughs> Slave owner Phil. Okay. Buddy. Uh, you oh, said shit. this, Nick. I didn't uh, say that. That makes me cringe. Ugh. Holy shit. People are going nuts, of course. Working in the kitchen of is hard. Of course. It's so hot. <laughs> and your facial so features hot. tend to melt off. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. See, that's Whoa. what I'm talking about. Yep. That's, uh, how about you get on that casting couch and, uh, we can get it on. Oh, that's retarded. This mustache is, uh... Nah, staying on correctly, and that's it's okay. Not staying I guess on, what boy. Do about it. You gotta make do with what. You, oh, there you go. That's a little better, actually. You gotta make do with what you got in life. That's what my pappy always told me. That's why I made the original recipe. Yo, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh. That is a uh, guy with two names asked. What kind of a couch is that? That is a casting couch style couch. Yes, it's very robust. And uh, very interactive. Boy, did you realize what I just realized? DSP tries it live. <laughs> Colonel Sanders trying out some food items. Ooh wee, ooh wee. You know, DSP tries it, boy. This southern belly is gonna be empty and growling. I'm gonna want some food, boy. My my hair, my southern hair is so high profile that it doesn't fit on the camera. We need a bigger camera. Everything's bigger in the south. We need a bigger camera for this stream. <laughs> Custom couch and easy to clean. Of course, I prefer the casting couch the best. Easy to clean. All right, hold on a second here. Ooh. We had a white couch. That shit didn't work out, boy. Who's my favorite uh, Five Nights at Freddy's character? Uh, the chicken. I think they're... Uh, what's a good word to use? They're retarded. It's the wow, <laughs> that's the best word you could find. <laughs> oh, big brain cat. 62 IQ cat. Let's do DSP tries it. No, I'm not doing it in character as Colonel Sanders. There's no way I could eat with the beard Come on. Come on, why not? Okay. Oh, excuses again. All right, so you guys ready? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special Halloween, Halloween day episode of DSP tries it. It is Halloween 2020. First of all, I was in line for over 30 minutes to get the food for today's DSP tries. Oh, so our epic. stomachs are going. Bleh. Should have ordered DoorDash. Yeah, there were 17 cars in line at 3.30 p.m. That's Figure crazy, that DSP. one out. I have no idea. We're doing a taste test head-to-head -head challenge. Two items from Wendy's that are currently available. Oh my god, I... I cannot express how much I appreciate these edited videos where, I, where they cut off literal dozens of minutes in between where it's just nonsense rambling in gibberish it's fucking garbage and i'm so happy there are videos like this that compress everything well on the wendy's menu right now there is the jalapeno bacon jalapeno chicken sandwich also this mustache shouldn't be a thing just just shave it off at this point this this mustache is just terrible Which? And then there is the pub chicken sandwich. 12 seconds later. Uh, guess what? We are not doing a head to head DSP tries it. Because oh they God. gave me two pub chicken sandwiches. Oh well, my wait, God. There Should talk about this for six weeks. There's more. I waited a half an hour in line for this. And they gave me two of the same sandwich. And I paid more money. I paid more money for this one. At I love how DSP always gets scammed. And I'm against scams, obviously. I don't like scams. But um, I think it's just funny that he always gets scammed. It's kind of poetic justice. Well, the other one... They, they just screwed up the order. He literally always gets scammed. ...is what they did. It's completely screwed up. 
the, the bacon jalapeno sandwich is based on a spicy chicken uh, breast. There's the spiciness to it with jalapenos. A brioche style bun. What appears to be pepperoni. Some kind <laughs> Look of at him th with this fucking vest, man. He looks like... I don't even know what he looks like. He looks like a, a little alcoholic baby with a vest. I, I don't even... I can't even des describe how he looks like. He looks... I don't even know. Stupid. At least. Mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions, mayo, and ketchup. Fried oh onions, my God. pieces of steak, and two pickles. <laughs> no mushrooms. I'm surprised. Devour. Devour. I'm surprised by that. I thought there would be mushrooms. A Devour. lot of cheese. I think I see a pepper. Oh Graham crackers, sausage, and a cheese sauce, banana peppers. Layers of what appears to be chocolate. Okay, I Layers chocolate. of what appears to be chicken is regular homestyle chicken. Oh with my like god. a bunch of cheese. It's like pure liquid butter. As well as like lettuce and stuff in there. So I'm gonna do them head to head. <laughs> a taste test head to head. Wait till mm. you hear this. The pulp chicken sandwich is seven six five dollars and twenty nine cents. <laughs> Okay, this is a thumbnail. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna be clipping this real quick. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's the cost. <laughs> what was even this post? What the fuck? Like the whole a whole combo <laughs> meal anywhere else. Seven dollars and twenty nine cents. The bacon jalapeno sandwich I think is six dollars and eighty nine cents. So price-wise, these sandwiches are almost equivalent, and they are very effing expensive. Seven twenty-nine for an effing sandwich. All right, holy shit! Let's give it a shot. The Whoa. pulp chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Oh, devour! <laughs> holy shit! This, this. Oh my god! Come on! It's the same experience you get watching a meat as if you tossed a steak to a pig literally the same experience it's not even like joey's food reviews or uh a review bra because review bra is cool as fuck but uh this this guy eating food is is, is worse than uh nikocado avocado it's literally worse than him that is interesting because there's definitely a lot of salt of course fast food yeah but obviously a lot of salt the pickle the the vinegar taste of the pickle cuts into the salt flavor. Oh, the, the um, vinegar taste cuts into the salt flavor. He's like explaining to you fucking uh, how you're gonna win the NBA championship. What the strategy is? Yeah, Yo, you cut inside, you make a screen, you you get the citrusy, robust flavor of the uh, of the lettuce. Ah, oh, what a, what a fucking clown! Just eat the food. And tell us if it's good or it's not good. You don't have to explain how it cuts into the different tastes and such a robust and uh, interactive flavor. Wow. Um, absolutely gross looking. Salt, 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 salt. Well, my opinion is it's, it's okay, it's good. I just tasted sugar. The vinegar taste flavor of the pickle complements uh, as the always, of the bread. <laughs> as always, uh, let me derail my stream to thank you all for being here today. It's been a very chill and interactive stream. I have some uh, new additions to the layout. I hope you like it. The chat is in a different place. Everything is in a different place. Um, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Thank you for all being here and enduring this with me. It's been quite fun. Uh, I'm sipping beers like Dave is sipping gin. So at some point, uh, it's going to be very lit. We might even listen to more uh, Detractor Bangers and uh, Liquid Richard. Because last time this shit was fun as hell. I got to be honest with you. It was more fun than Ask the King any day of the week. Come on. Oh, oh wow, it's so different. Oh, that was very salty. I'm not going to lie. That was I very didn't salty. like the banana pepper. Spicy. It's a spicy sauce. It's like really spicy. Oh, Pickle really spicy. flavor kind of balanced out with the other flavors of the sandwich. The banana pepper was a good contrast to the other flavors and give it a tanginess. Otherwise, rather than just marshmallow goo and sugar, it's flavorful. <laughs> Look at this fucking the DSP. Come on. The banana pepper was give a me a fucking break. This is not a real person. And give it a this is this can't be a real person. It has to be a character. The tanginess. Otherwise, the tanginess. The tanginess of the robust citrusy flavor of the burger. Rather than just marshmallow <laughs> goo and sugar, it's flavorful. Marshmallow goo and sugar, goo.
Thanks, DSP. Both the both the pepper and the onion are a good contrast to the the flavor of it. It doesn't really have a meat flavor to it. A it's meat flavor. <laughs> cat got all the meat flavor in her cheeks. Dude, I should stop talking about cat getting fucked. Still salty. <laughs> the marinara sauce. <laughs> it's illegal. Makes it better, in my opinion. I'm gonna have the the cops coming to my door if I talk about DSP's wife. Like. Again, you get the tanginess of the banana pepper, but now you're getting the tanginess of the banana pepper. The tanginess. What does even tangy mean? Tangy. The tanginess. Having a strong pick, pick, pickant flavor or smell. Okay, now don't make fun of me. I'm not fucking American. English is not my first language. I'm multilingual. So tangy is just having a, a, a flavor. Being flavorful. Wow, thanks. Fucking tanginess of the fucking bread and the bun. Thank you, DSP, for the your eloquent and uh, mature adult description of a fucking burger. Jesus the salt, Christ. That salami cut through the insane garlic butter taste. The acidity. The acidity. <laughs> the fucking acidity, bro. The acidity. Dude turns into a fucking food scientist. I haven't even heard Gordon Ramsay talk about food like this. Oh, the, the, the tanginess, the citrusy flavor. It, the, ah, and I watched a lot of Kitchen Nightmares and I watched a lot of Hotel Hell. Jesus Christ. Is still warm. That's good. So you gotta be careful eating this thing. Because it can actually move. You know, all the ingredients can move around while you're trying to They can to move eat. around. <laughs> Mobile ingredients. Come on. Cheese is kind of like melty sandwich Ugh. cheese. It's not like pizza cheese. You know what I mean? Oh, the yeah. It's very, it's, very uh, greasy there. Yeah, but greasy. it doesn't necessarily taste like meat. Greasy. I wonder what else is greasy. <laughs> DSP. <laughs> Maybe a greasy Italian. How about that? A greasy Italian sausage. Sounds good. Fair enough. That's good. That's good. And you'll see, chat. We're going to get into mega chill levels of chill and then his pre-stream is gonna start and vibe is gonna drop like by a billion percent bajillion percent uh leo charles i also love kitchen nightmares is great you don't learn about a lot about food but you learn a lot about managing your business which is something that dsp should probably look at because uh the most of the problems of the people in the show is just a problem with managing your own business it's not the really the food's fault just they don't care and they don't try which uh I don't know if I've said it before, but two most important things, I think, if you're going to do anything, uh, especially for a living, is to number one, number one, care, and number two is try. So if you don't care and you don't try, then you're not going to get anywhere. If you just try, but you don't give a fuck, then you're not going to do anything again. And if you just try, uh, you, you know what I mean? Oh, it tastes like, oh, oh. You get a little more of the aftertaste, you get like a char aftertaste. <laughs> a char aftertaste. I would not wish anyone to It's eat like uh, sucking on a George Foreman grill. A charred aftertaste. <laughs> I can't the imagine cloud. someone actually like liking that. It's got a unique smell, but I don't know what... I actually don't know what that smells like. Toxic garlic juice in their veins. Right? Toxic garlic no juice. Tell me about this. it. I don't even know what that is. What are those sauces? I can't even put my finger on what it does taste like. I don't taste any avocado whatsoever. Avocado. It's lumpy meat in some parts, and, and it's not lumpy meat. Throughout. It definitely has a tanginess and a creaminess. Oh, a <laughs> tanginess and a creaminess. <laughs> How does this guy talk when he eats ass? Does he review eating ass? Has he ever ate ass? Questions. All the questions we care about. All the taste is the salt. Weird. Why? All right. Why in the fuck? Is this Fred? Oh no, it's uh... Yeah, well, as always, uh, this is, again, yet another love raid. And as you know, love raids means uh, every content we watch, I endorse you guys to go and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, give this man a view. And uh, let's carry on. Now, there's more Halloween stuff. This was only the Colonel Scamders one. But uh, the Yoshi ones is actually pretty, 
cringe. And all of them, uh, all of the Halloween stuff that he's done features at least a little bit playing on PC. And watching DSP play on PC is kind of, uh, it's a little bit funny. Also, uh, Critical Gaming says in chat, um, DSP reviews food like someone who watches a lot of Food Network but doesn't understand the words used to describe a thing, so he repeats what they've said to sound smart. And um, I think that is kind of prominent with a lot of people reviewing stuff. Uh, you can see it a lot, in, especially in like movie reviews, when somebody's talking about, wow, the cinematography was so great and the pacing was so good, but they're not really sure what they're talking about. But still, like, yeah, it's a it's a robust and interactive sandwich, and you can feel the tanginess and the citrusy flavor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. And also need to go to the bathroom. So uh, while you watch this uh, DSP Snort Burnell intro, I'll be right back. It's time to play the game. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Vader is being very stupid. There's a hundred bit cheer and ask, what's this new? I'm back for some more robust style content. Think Dark Souls. Troops go for, for life, for paying my normal stuff coming up, affording anything, the cost of games, food, everything. What do you think? Like seriously, what do you think that because, uh, do you seriously think that because we hit a goal earlier today to get me caught up on stuff, now nothing will cost anything for the rest of my life? Dude, nobody cares. Literally, I, I shouldn't have to be thinking about what DSP is going to spend his money on and what his financial investments are when I'm watching a gamer stream. Like, you shouldn't be caring about this. It literally is irrelevant. Just fucking watch the guy. He's not supposed to be talking about his fucking life all that much, as much as he's talking about. And then people ask, why do you care so much where his money goes? Because he fucking begs like this. Obviously, come on. He begs like this, tells you where the money is going to like bills and electricity and oh, uh, and then you see he's fucking spending it on WW champions and iTunes gift cards. Like, get the fuck out of here. Then don't talk about it. If you don't want me to ask where the money goes, don't talk about it. Almost got me toxic. He almost got me toxic. Starting tomorrow, we will start with a new subscriber goal for the month of November. The goal will be as follows. If we hit the subscriber goal, I will be doing a Christmas gaming marathon. Woohoo. I'll be, you know, doing festive stuff, dressing up in Christmas attire for said marathon. Uh, I'll probably be drinking. Now, I'm not going to promise like I used to. Oh, I'm just going to keep drinking and get sloshed. No. But if I want to casually drink, maybe have some eggnog or a beer or two during the event, I will. I almost never yeah, do. And, uh, as always, go like the video. This is a part of our love raids. This is the love army, the self-proclaimed that on stream ever so i will do it just for this event and i will try to contain myself so i don't get depressed like i did last year <laughs> okay he's um, gonna get depressed <laughs> oh yeah this is also the gamer who you go to his streams to watch gaming content and fun gamer videos who's talking to you uh about being fucking depressed and how hard his life is because he doesn't know how to turn on his laundry machine or he doesn't know how to fucking wash dishes and stuff this is the same guy, same person, by the way, who tells you that his videos and his streams are all about the chill and all about the relaxing and, and escaping from your problems in real life. But help me pay my fucking rent. Uh, not rent, but uh, it's it's like rent for rich people, how it's called. Fucking um, mortgage. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, we'll be doing a marathon of games that you guys will determine. Now, the, there's the thing. <clears throat> if you want to do Christmas-themed games, we absolutely can. I'd be open to playing Christmas-themed games, but there's not a heck of a lot of them. And the thing is, over the last few years, I've done a lot of marathons with Christmas-themed games that, you know, we kind of used all the funny ones. So, it doesn't have to be christmas uh, This is, by the way, from November 2019. So, this is the, the 2019-style um, Halloween marathon thing. ...games. In fact, you guys... We'll be able to nominate any kind of games that's easily available. You know, you want to see me do some Modern Warfare on Christmas Day? You can see me do some Modern Warfare. You want to see me do uh, a puzzle game? You want to see me do a Dark souls S game? You want to see me do a fighting game? Whatever you want to see me play on Christmas. I mean, I would hope you would say, oh, play some Street Fighter Classics, because I would love to do that on Christmas. I speak uh, three languages that I would say comfortably. But I'm learning. But whatever you think, all right? I'll be playing on, well, I, I say Christmas Day, it won't be Christmas Day, it's probably gonna be like Christmas Eve. I don't think I'm gonna be streaming on Christmas Day. <laughs> what? Why am I toxic? <clears throat> It'll probably be like the day before, so I can actually spend Christmas with my wife and my family. <clears throat> okay? Um, so anyway, that's the, the goal. The, the sub's goal for the month of November starts tomorrow, alright? So starting tomorrow, I'll set up this goal, I'll have it live. We'll try to hit this goal, if we hit it, it'll be the big Christmas event. This light is mega strong right now. Let's see, how about this? Okay. Nice. Where I'll be festive and dressing up and drinking and doing, uh, you know, any kind of games that you guys nominate and vote on uh, over the course of that month. All right. By the way, I would I would endorse you to find yourself a soulmate who has nice equipment so you can borrow it when you're making your streams. Like, like these amazing lights that I have right now. Yeah, big ups. Big ups, my soulmate. Oh, man. Oh. Now, talking about all these contribution methods, the best way you can contribute is by uh, tipping me. The reason being, number one, I got a bunch of games coming up that I need to afford, including Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, Death Stranding. Yo, Star why are we Fall actually Order, listening Pokemon, to this? Because <laughs> I got fucking distracted reading chat and so on, and I'm like, wait, this is just a free stream from like two years ago. This is illegal. Oh yeah, here we go, Yoshi. Uh, Mr. Yoshi. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm to fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't stop laughing now. I was, I'm gonna show you the costume. Don't worry. I'm going to show you the costume. <laughs> All right. For this time, it's for real. All right, you guys ready? For real this time. In three. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, actually. Uh, after this video, we're gonna go on his Instagram. Please, if I forget, uh, add me and chat. Remind me, cause I might forget this. My my brain. Uh, so yeah, but his Instagram is is fantastic, and I would like to take a look at it. Speaking of, I also have an Instagram. Uh, you can see it on top of the stream. There, there, there. This is terrible. Uh, you can see it there. You can go follow me on everything if you care. If you don't, don't follow me. Uh, it's your decision, and uh, wish you the best. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh! oh Happy Halloween, god. everyone! <laughs> oh my god! The best god. thing about this outfit is that you can chroma key it. So you could remove the green and instead put something else. Like, like Derek. Eric's face. Oh, Eric's face. What the fuck? Whoa! Oh, whoa! Don't lose him. What in the fuck was that, dude? Holy fucking titty twisting mother! Whoa! <laughs> How are you doing? That <laughs> doesn't even fit. Okay, okay. It doesn't fit. Hello, everyone. Oh, it doesn't even fit. How are you doing? Because <laughs> it's probably not made for forty-year-old men. Happy Halloween! How's it going? We're built like 60-year-old men. Hmm. You're not a very mature adult. Here I am. You're not a very mature Dino adult. Dino Island. I'm ready to eat some fruits. <laughs> I prefer penis because it's easy to eat. And I'm ready to play some games. Are you guys- Uh, Mara asks in chat, what's the story behind the dun 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 meme? I'm really not sure what you're talking about. So, you're- Getting a non-answer, but let me know in chat what you mean actually, and and I'll tell you. Is ready? Yes. I'm here with my little 
My little hump. <laughs> look at me. Oh my this, this shit looks like an actual fucking pimple. Look at this dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. My little... My little hump. <laughs> oh, look at me. Oh my God. What the fuck? Oh, it's terrible. I look so stupid. <laughs> Uh, Rene says in chat, but thanks for the tip. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a great comment. Thanks for the comment. <laughs> ak, ak, ak. <laughs> ak, ak, Dude, ak, I guys. look so stupid. I look like a fat fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> oh. oh, that, that, that bong sound. I think it's just, uh, Snort Burnell stylistic choice i think that's it I, I don't think there's a specific meme related to it it's just like done and it it yeah it's how he edits his stuff because uh, most of the detractors have their own style in making their stuff and snor burnell is one of the most prolific ones so yeah there's your answer thanks for the comment <laughs> a little hump and i am here to play spooky Whoa. themed games with all of you all day long. I hope that you are very excited. I can't really see you. <laughs> Look at this too fucking well. guy. Look at my nose. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good lord. Hilarity. Uh, so I was I was Ring Wings of Redemption for Halloween, but then Yoshi came by and ate me. So that's why I, I've now become Yoshi for Halloween. Yo, I've been engulfed completely. Uh, a low key diss at Wings of Redemption for literally no reason. By Yoshi. Very, yes. that's a very robust and tangy joke. <laughs> the situation that we have here, folks, uh, okay? I'm a mature adult, and I'm not a children's entertainer. So, <laughs> all right. So, everyone, I'm Yoshi for Halloween this year. Yes, it is true. Here we are with the backpack and everything. Although, it's kind of sad you can't really see the backpack. See, you can't really see it that well. Um, And quite frankly, the head, I tried this week. I tried to like... Uh, Sip6 says in chat, this costume looks tangy. It's uh, very tangy, very robust, and it's particularly interactive and and chill. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Get, keep the head out of the package so it would like. It's fluff. fucking terrible. Like, ah, uh, come on. It's it's some low effort shit. Because you don't need a lot of money to dress up as something that's fun. Come on, come on. Dress up as some meme that goes around on the stream. You should have dressed up as Hulk Hogan and been like, oh, you guys, this is because uh, people say I spend a lot of money on WWE champions. I dress as Hulk Hogan. Hehe. <laughs> ak, ak, ak. <laughs> Up and not be crushed, but it's like lopsided. And it it's doesn't lopsided. really sit like well on your on the head. I, I'm trying to get it like level so it stops flopping around. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, I don't think so. So a couple things. The thing is, you guys uh, talk about so much about me and the stupid Sonic hat that I wore years ago. And I was like, let me do something that will top how stupid that hat is. And I did. I think I've done it this year. I've topped how stupid that hat is. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Prepare. For a bunch of screen caps, prepare for a bunch of memes and a bunch of pictures all over the internet. In fact, I took some better pictures. In reality, I took some better pictures of this. Um, In reality. Them, I'm going to put them up. In fact, you know what? I'll do it right now. Just a big reveal, okay? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Russell Hall says, uh, Colonel Sanders' DSP was cringe. I agree with you. That's all I have to say. A few shoutouts. Andre J tipped four dollars and thirty-one cents. Is all you need now is an apple to eat. Penne. Oh, penne pasta is great. I prefer penne because easier to eat. You, know, you got to slurp it. It gets all over you the sauce. Slurp it, it properly. It's fun and delicious. <laughs> ah, it's, it's fun and delicious. <laughs> it's gonna be quite penne good. is fun. Confirmed. It's fun to eat penne. Awesome. A challenging stream, by the way. Trying to do this with his hat on all day, and I can oh. already tell you, my back is already sweating from the shells. So this dude starts in. Uh, literally an hour. Hmm. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Well, you got remember, the reason I'm wearing a silly costume is because you guys voted wild card, okay? So you basically put it into my hands to determine what to do. Oh, wow. What a coincidence. Sure. <laughs> and when I went out to look for a costume, first of all, four million Joker costumes. Everyone wants to be the fucking Joker this year. I said, that's too cliche, that's lame. What was this, what was this, uh, 2019? Oh yeah, it's the, the, the Joker movie came out. Come on, everybody wants to be the Joker, obviously. Because he shot a guy on TV. It's, uh, was my dream ever since I was a child. 
Um, and I've been thinking about things that I've been doing. Spoilers recently. for the Joker movie, in case you haven't seen it. He shoots a guy. Oh my lord. Recently, I've been doing a lot of retro stuff. We're doing a playthrough of Super Mario World, right? So I was like, this would be pretty cool to be a character who I have been playing in a game recently, but also looks absolutely ludicrous, right? Look at this. It's flopping all around my face. Looks absolutely ludicrous on camera. So that's why I picked this one. Plus, Kat absolutely loves Yoshi. Yoshi is her favorite character from the Mario universe. Actually, I'm pretty confused right now. I'm pretty confused. Did I buy right the short or well. is it borrowed? Uh, this I bought it. I hate to tell you, <laughs> I bought it. It's a green shirt. Can I wear the headphones? Yes, I tested it. I can wear headphones. Watch this. Whoa, epic, the epic style content. Think Dark Souls. And kind of in reality, hold the hat in place. So even if I'm playing, I could actually remove the chin strap and the hat won't go anywhere, see? And probably that's what I'll do as I'm playing games today. I'll probably just keep the headphones on like this and play. The only problem, this nose is, is blocking my view. Like, I, <laughs> I seriously am going to have problems seeing the screen because it's in my face. <laughs> oh no, DSP is going to have problems with something, you guys. That has never happened before. DSP has gone through every single thing he's faced with no issues whatsoever. Now he's having problems. Wow. Innovative and uh, tangy. There's not much I can do about it, right? So tangy. Oh god. This oh. is when you think about it. This is quite a, a tangy stream. Oh, oh, what's happened? <laughs> All right. Cringe. Pretty interesting. Pretty wild. This ah, Adorabas says this will work for when you play at Luigi's Mansion Three. Is I don't know if uh if, if Yoshi is actually in the Luigi's Ma fran uh, Mansion franchise or not. But if he is, hey, just another reason that made sense to wear this today because I knew I was playing a Mario style game. Uh, in this marathon. My content is not catered towards kids. It never not... has been and it never will be. Huh? What? That's cringe, DSP. So, and no, this is not from a dollar store, you idiot. Do you really think that a, a, not only a big puffy hat, but also this, this sh inflatable shell is cheap? This is actually not cheap at all. This is this, uh, oh, uh, this costume. Yeah, it is totally cheap. All right, office job mentality changes. Did the green shirt come with it? No, it didn't. You actually had to buy the green shirt yourself. It only came with the hat and the inflatable shell. That was the costume. <laughs> and no, it's not expensive as fuck. It's just, it wasn't cheap. If I remember correctly, I think it was around like 30 to $40. I can't, I couldn't tell you. I'm sure there's a price tag on the thing, but I bought it like two weeks ago now, so I don't remember. One final reminder, the best way to contribute today is by tipping me, okay? Please consider tipping me if you want to help me out with the cost of games coming up. And also with, you know, all the, the usual stuff, monthly bills and everything, tipping helps more. I still appreciate cheers to subs and all that. It still helps. But the tips are going to help me more than anything. All right, thank you. Let's end the pre-stream. And let's get started. And no, I did not get this at Walmart, even though I don't think there's any problem getting a, a, a Halloween costume at Walmart. It doesn't go to Spirit Walmart. Of Halloween, which is the seasonal. Uh, dude uh, believes that Walmart is below him. Very interesting. I think. I think he does. Because, uh, yeah, there was no proof of him ever going to Walmart. Which... By the way, I love Walmart. Like, I've, if I was American, I would go there literally every day. I love junk. And buying junk that is cheap from China. Straight from China. I love China. <laughs> a Halloween store that they have where you get... Hint, hint. Chinese government. Send me a tip, please. All kinds of uh, costumes, okay? La, 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 la. Happy Halloween. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. DSP singing, that's not content. It's just not. You. <laughs> Blood stain. <laughs> what is this music? When you watch me on a stream, you're getting pure, unadulterated fill. You're getting out of me my pure, uh, you know, opinion on the matter. For the most part. You, you're, it's pure fill. You're getting the real deal. You're not getting the fake acting fill. You're not getting the, a the fake acting fill. <laughs> the pure unadulterated fill. It's like you're selling water or something. I don't know. Muppet. Like I like Fantastic. to call some other streamers who. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Jesus Christ. Zero self awareness. One might others. One might even say that he has like split personality or something, the way that he contradicts himself all the time. Insanity. They overact for the camera, they have the dyed hair, and they have to be this certain stereotype to make money from kids. 
I'm not like that, and you guys know that. For 10 years, yeah, I've not like myself that, on being the real me. He's the authentic Italian slash Polish slash American Let's Player streamer. Very authentic, by the way. Not some bullshit character to make money. All right. Shrimply Pimply, did a 50 bit shares. I hope this is out of place. I missed the last few streams. What's this goal for? This is for expenses for the coming months. I literally just explained it on a million. <laughs> this is for expenses, by the way. What is expenses? I don't know. Crack, weed, coke, all of it. Expenses. Pre streams. Still have indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. <laughs> David says in chat, you have to evaluate the risks and rewards when shopping at Walmart. Come on, is, is, is Walmart this, like, dangerous to be at? It looks like the best place. I would be there literally every day. It has games, it has all this other shit. It's borderline free, because shit there is cheap as fuck. Uh, also, I never understood DSB's hatred of Ninja. Well, let me see. Number one. Uh, very successful. Number two plays only Fortnite. Number three has colored hair, which is a massive pet peeve for DSP. He hates colored haired people for some reason, because they're clowns. And uh, number four, he overreacts, which is something that DSP also does, but um, you're supposed to ignore that and ignore the contradictions. And that's just how life works, according to DSP. You know. Is he himself is not really a person who knows how life works, so uh, don't listen to the advice. It's gone, just gone like that in an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I, I need your help. Directly to you. <laughs> nope. This is the authentic guy. Uh, by the way, I've, I've never seen Ninja do that and be like, oh, I am appealing directly to you. I need your help. No, because it's about playing fucking Fortnite on his streams. I would think so. No decency, no respect. No but there, there aren't any compilations of Ninja begging, if I gotta be honest with you. 100%. No common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs> Oh, and that's it. Uh, now all we have is a Tevin video. Or my stream. That's awesome. 124 people. Big ups to all of y'all. And uh, I hate saying y'all. This was a crime against humanity. Now, uh, DSP Halloween. Let's go watch some more Halloween entertainment while the man himself starts. Let's see what else we got. There's some great artwork. Uh, drop from Curse. That's some fun stuff. Now we have a, a different kind of DSP, Devi Sri Prasad, who is um, probably a Indian person. Yes, a music composer. So he's the he's the actual DSP. So I gotta be honest with you. And uh, what other ones are there? <laughs> Negative Halloween. Oh, this was his last Halloween. Let's see. And there's a uh, uh, there's actually what is it called? The timestamps. Yes. Yes, and uh, yeah, the Indian guy, he's the real DSP. <laughs> he's the OG DSP. Now, let's see, angry at chat, uh, can't play on PC, stream crashes, DSP tries it. Let's go first from uh, can't play on PC for a little bit. Then we're gonna go to angry at chat, and then we're gonna go to DSP tries it, because this shit is 2020. And of course, as always, if you watch this video on on demand, uh, then you're gonna get... Uh, Timestamps for all of this, so you're gonna get chapters like this. So if you don't care about any part of the video, you can skip it. That's up to you. You know, I publish it and you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can edit me into some compilation. You can edit some dicks in my mouth. Okay, I'm gonna help you like like, th like this, okay? Okay. Very nice. Sounds good. Uh, now let's go to Can't Play on PC. News. News. So the only other thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, every once in a while people ask me. Oh, thank you for the reminder. Uh, with the uh, 45 seconds person in chat to check his Instagram. I will check his Instagram right now. Thank you very much. I forgot this and I told you I have a little gin brain. Gin and cannabis infused brain, which uh, makes me forget forget everything. So let's see if, if this is going to work. 
I can do this, because a lot of social medias don't let me do shit like this unless I log in, which is pretty annoying. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Okay, just a sec. I should, should know this. Are you looking at pizza right now? Jesus Christ. Why am I doing this to you? Okay. I've been logged in. Instagram. Epic in Instagram content. Uh, you can see here's my post. I have one epic like. And I follow Dave, of course, because... Of course I'm gonna follow Dave. And I have one follower. Big ups to you. Not gonna dox him right now. But uh, DSP's Instagram is basically a 12-year-old uh, who looks like this. That's kind of the thing. Full-time gamer slash Twitch streamer. Because that's what you want uh, as your bio. And of course, first we have a massively disgusting pizza with almost 300 likes, which is pretty cool, I gotta be honest. Then we have a picture of an ouchie. Oh no. Ew. He hurt himself, which is barely fucking visible, by the way. Literally. <laughs> There's a comment saying, uh, thinking of you during this difficult time. Of course, you can't even fucking see the wound. What the fuck is this? You can't even see it. Why are you posting it? You're 40 years old, dude. Why are you posting this? You can't even see what's up. I don't even know what it is. Oh, here's what happened. I sliced my thumb fairly deep. No, it isn't. You can't even see that shit. Managed to get it to clot initially, but it bled into bed. Oh, of course. He's having like a, a fucking Saving Private Ryan moment. When <laughs> he gets this. Come on. Oh, fucking clown world. And of course, you have to get the follow-up for this, which is, ouch. And then you see, oh my god, what happened? Uh, of course, the main comment, the first comment, as, as usual, is all that swiping on WWE Champions really got you, huh? Amazing. Ah, oh, DSP, people are dying, man. Come on. People are dying. As they said in on the Kardashians? Yeah, that's a quote from the Kardashians. People are dying, Kim. Then ask me in chat, why do I watch the Kardashians? Because of my soulmate, obviously. Now we have some pics of Jasper. A very... Oh, uh, and a dude who says... He's being a negative idiot... Uh, shithead by the way who says hey stop begging for dollars all the time you dirty manipulative panhandling scammer everyone is tired of it one like um i don't agree with this now another pick of jasper now a pick of jeans picture of jeans epic content epic content oh my god i'm wearing jeans today i still don't get why this is such a big deal it's not it's literally not. And uh, yeah, then we have somebody roasting him. I don't agree with this, obviously. I love this. Now we have uh, the Keurig coffee maker from a, a million years ago. And uh, a sarcastic tweet of uh, powering up with a coffee for today's Yakuza 7 stream. This is my $7,000 coffee maker that I irresponsibly bought with viewer funds. Or so say my haters. No, it's like a... It costed 200 bucks at a time. Dude, come on. Stop being a fucking clown. Uh, the mug is a gift from a fan about a decade ago and I still use it to this day. Awesome. It's almost like you don't change at all. Now we have some... Yummy. Apparently this is yummy. This looks like a... I don't know. Some scene from Live Leak. Oh, now we get another ouchie. I suffered a horrendous and debilitating workplace injury this morning while making the sauce. Not sure if I can go and play Demon Souls today with this kind of wound. And this is making fun of himself, even though here we get an unironic post of it. Here. What the fuck? Literally, what the fuck? Come on, DSP. This is fucking nonsense. And then we have a, a fucking depression post. It always happens when I chop onions, I'm such a baby. DSP, the kind of guy to chop onions and cry, and then post himself on fucking Instagram. This is, <laughs> this is who DSP is. This is who fucking only iced coffee is giving thousands of dollars to. This man who has to cry 
when he's peeling onions, chopping onions, right? This is a unique case that nobody else has done. And he has to post his fucking mug on Instagram crying. This is the guy. This is the guy. And here we have, of course, a flex pic of like, Sony has arrived. Epic. Nobody else has it. Is some flexing, massive flexing. And of course, here we have uh, Colonel Scamders. Yeah, pretty fucking cringe. And uh, the rest of it is, is, is literal bullshit. It's literally bullshit. About as, as uh, oh, we have a, a, a beautiful, beautiful, him as his beautiful wife, who looks like a mannequin, uh, looks like a, a wax figure in their beautiful rings and uh, some negative shithead saying, and I hate you, Phil. <laughs> Which, come on, this is a little bit negative. And yeah, this is some, uh, yeah, some raccoon style makeup. Think Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously. And uh, yeah, this is just, this is just bullshit. Oh, this is another cool post. Here is when he posted a picture of, of Cat not playing a game. <laughs> On this tiny screen, a screen. This is is less than twenty inches. It might even be like less than fifteen. I I guess I don't fucking know inches. I'm a euro tard, as as they say. Uh, but apparently, Cat was uh, playing some Assassin's Creed Odyssey and relaxing on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and the top comment says, uh, "This dude masturbated on a live stream. Pretty epic. Nice content. The content you need, not the content you." ask for or give a fuck and uh, again somebody on wwe said dsp get a job and of course dsp's epic comment epic response is uh for you the day that dsp changed your life and urged you to hold up a sign on smackdown in a front row was the most important day of your life literally nobody said that literally not not one person that was there or the person with the sign said whoa this was such an important day in my life they literally just held up a sign for a little bit so the camera could get it and then they stopped. But apparently, because DSP wants to believe that he's ultra important, he makes a post like this where, yeah. Nobody saw your sign though. Nobody saw the sign, the, the Sean Ranklin sign, even though they did see it. And it was on YouTube, I literally remember. 158 weeks ago in 2018, I literally remember this. And this is just bullshit. This is uh, this is just a waste of time scrolling through this. Who the fuck is this? Is this Cat still? Yeah, Cat playing some Overwatch on a tiny screen. DSP plays on a 4K TV, by the way. 4K. That's like 4,000 of something. But and, and this is what Cat gets. This little thing is what Cat gets. Because he loves her so much. Soulmates, am I right? Now there's some food. Uh, this looks spooky. It's absolutely not, not, not good. Uh, this is some pretending to be a human being, I guess. I don't know. Okay, the this was enough. And this is sauce, which is terrible. A little bit of Yoshi. A little bit of low quality looking food. Some Jasper. Oh, this by the way. As you see it, this is, uh, the caption to this is, A professional always has their tools nicely sorted and at the ready for use at any time. By the way, this, as you can see, is not drilled to the wall. This is stuck with tape to the wall. It's literally duct tape. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. It's ass. But uh, thanks for reminding me. Now, we're watching Negative Halloween Event for 2020. I'm gonna skip the can't play on PC because who actually cares? Let's see him being angry uh, at chat about game nominations, right? All right, the last Rambo, also overnight, did a 50 bit cheer. And he said, I wanna express that it was uncalled for for you to dismiss our nominations for the Halloween marathon as trollish. We nominated games like Street Fighter V and Crisis because of your reactions and your adamant desire to avoid them. A successful businessman listens to his customers. Right. So last Rambo, you're just admitting... Uh, implying DSP is a successful businessman. Admitting you're an asshole. DSP is a terrible businessman and his business sucks. But uh, you guys know this. You, you purposely nominated games that you know 
aren't going to be fun to play, have nothing to do with Halloween, and don't fit a marathon format for your... So own what? That's the people of choice. That's how it is. You give the people a choice, it might just be dumb. But uh, that's what happens when you give people a choice. Maybe you shouldn't. And follow your own opinion instead. But uh, ESP has no opinion. He has no original personal opinion. personal benefit instead of actually thinking... about what people would want to see on a Halloween stream. So you're an asshole. Well, thank you for publicly admitting that you're an asshole, because I think that was my point, is that the people who nominate games like Rampa V3, oh yeah, a 40 plus hour long nar visual novel narrative based game is really going to fit into a Halloween marathon where I'm only going to play it for like an hour and a half, right? Uh, You know, maybe we use our heads for- Then maybe you should use your head DSP and you should pick what you want to see. What you want to play, what people are going to play, based on how fun it is. You know, they don't probably don't want to play WWE 2K for Halloween fucking marathon. But uh, DSP has no backbone. So, yeah. For a bit. But, I mean, at least you admitted that you're an asshole publicly so that we could all see it. You know, like I've only been saying. When are you going to admit you're an asshole? It for a while that people who would nominate stupid shit like that are being assholes and basically trying to skew my events but at least now you've publicly said it for me so i don't have to say it. i appreciate that <clears throat> all righty then <clears throat> excuse me noxina to me a dollar 30 and basically says a very a very cynical thing all right so i'm going to read it and i'm going to address it very matter of factly okay he says other streamers seem to tend to do halloween and christmas events they don't have sub goals or anything that need to be hit to do them why do i have sub goals to do them uh, all right that's... i'll explain first whatever all right. I don't know what streamers you're addressing. I don't know if you're addressing people who do this for a living or people who just do it for fun. I don't know if you're addressing streamers that are ginormous and popular and make insane amounts of money every single day that they turn on a stream, or if you're addressing someone who just does it for a hobby and doesn't make any money doing it. All right. The, you basically put me in a position where there's no way I can accurately answer your question because you didn't give me any kind of frame of reference. You just said other streamers. Well, yeah. Yeah, DSP, you don't fucking watch other streamers. You don't know how they work. So even if they told you this streamer did this, you would just say, well, I don't watch him, so I don't know what he did. Obviously, this is a fucking weasel attempt. Just say, why do you have goals? Because you want the fucking money. That's why. It's fucking easy. And you can just say it. There's And it's literally okay if you're doing this for a living and you want the money. Just be honest with it. And not fucking call it a charitable contribution or a fucking whatever. All this fucking nonsense that he used even in his uh, in his bankruptcy meeting, which is something that I would like to hear in the end of the stream, which is I don't even know if I'm going to get to DSP fucking pre-stream because he starts at my time, which is 745 and the actual stream starts 30 minutes after. So I don't fucking know. But this is some bullshit fucking semantics. Literally tens of thousands of other streamers. Yeah, there's tens I of thousands of fucking streamers. Get lost, DSP. You don't watch any of them. DSP is the self-proclaimed, I'm not a, a, a content watcher, I'm a content creator. To the point where he can't even watch his own streams. He can't even watch his own stupid videos. As we've seen in the, the retrospective Begathon events. Which is fucking garbage. Where he sits there and he goes through two minutes of a video and then he's like, well, you guys, this is not interesting. Why did you put it out there if it's not interesting? Maybe because you, were hope we, you would think that the people that would watch it are lesser than you. And they would just watch it and, and consume it and you would get your views. But you can't stand through this. Why are you putting out content that you're not willing to watch and you're not okay with watching? And you think it's fucking boring. Give me a break. I can't answer the question fairly because you didn't give me any information, but you did that on purpose. We all know you did because you're trying to put, into, put me into what's called a bait question. All right. So allow me to explain. Okay. I could easily do a Halloween and Christmas event without having any kind of goals around it. But I like having fun. Oh, yeah. Fun. I like having money. That's more like it. Interactive things with my stream. No. How is a fucking tips goal interactive? Get the fuck out of here. All right. Having streamers, excuse me, having viewers have the ability to vote or nominate something. But you hate it. They vote for it and then you shit on them for voting for it. Literally happened two minutes ago. Come on. For a special event 
gives them the feeling of, of interaction and control. Oh, it gives them the feeling of it. It gives them the feeling of having a choice. It gives them the feeling of having an option or a, a word in the decision. Well, they actually don't. Because in the end of the day, DSP plays whatever he wants. He just gives them the illusion of the, the option. Control. It gives an interactive feeling to the stream that you wouldn't normally have with, say, a YouTube video. Be oh, it's some fucking bullshit. Because when you watch on YouTube, it's already on YouTube. You have no interactivity. With a stream like this, people having the ability to nominate on games that might be played in the event, to vote on something like the Halloween costume I'm going to be wearing during an event, that gives them the feeling of power, a feeling of interactivity, and it makes it feel like, man, that streamer actually cares about me and my input to their stream. I'm not just some, you yeah, know. Yeah, except viewer. he doesn't. That's that's in theory that's what happens when you have a poll or something else. But it's all about the specifics, and DSP doesn't give a fuck about what you think, what you want, or what you would like to see. That does not matter for him, because in the end of the day, he's gonna do whatever the fuck he wants. And he's gonna still beg you for money. And tell you how much fun you're having. He's gonna tell you you're loving this. He's gonna tell you this has been the best year ever. This has been the most progressive year ever. When he made the most progress. It's been the most fun, the most interaction. And then you look back and it's shit like this. Where he tells you, yeah, I'm, I'm super interactive, you guys. I super I care so much about you guys. And then he's gonna have a whole segment when he... He tells you, oh, you should think with your head before voting for the game that you would like to see. Because it doesn't fit and I don't like it and I'm gonna play only an hour of it. Well, go fuck yourself. What is this choice for? Why is this choice? What is the, this choice influence? It's bullshit. It's like I'm playing a fucking uh, Man of Medan or Until Dawn. Where I make a choice and the game says, wow, your choice is it's such an important massive choice, man. It's gonna change everything. And I look it up on YouTube, the endings are still the same. Everything is still the same. My choice didn't do shit. Other than give me a slightly different animation. Or who's just Fantastic. a number to them or a statistic or another person to toss a buck at them. I'm actually someone who... Yeah, because there's hundreds of people to toss a buck at them daily. That's why it is. It's hard to keep track of it. Just like it's hard to keep track of who is in your chat when you have a 500 people in your chat, for example. It's just hard to do. And DSP prides himself on being the guy who can look at your chat message. Yeah, because there's 200 people watching his ass. Obviously. Actually, my contributions matter and can actually help formulate what happens on a given event or a stream, right? Truthfully, right? Right? Okay. So, when you have a special event, like, hey guys, Let's be motivated. Let's get everyone subbing. If everyone subs to the channel, you get tons of benefits, like you get a ton of emotes or whatever. And if we hit a certain goal, now I'm going to make it so that all you guys can nominate and vote on this for a special event. That is a motivational technique for interactivity on a stream and also to raise funds so that the business can continue. It benefits everyone. It benefits me because I get to... I hate uh, his... The voice. I hate the voice that he uses when he tries to convince you something. It's so fucking annoying, and it's so fucking condescending, this voice that, it, it, it's literally like he's talking to a literal child. It's like, you, okay? Okay, alright? Sounds good? Now this, this strategy here, it helps for, it helps everybody, you know, it helps you, because you get to pick a game, and it helps me, because my business left to continue. It's like, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Talk to these people like they're, they're actual fucking people. Not like you're better than them. Because you're literally not. You're literally not. A guy who squandered a million dollars. Over a million dollars. Over a million dollars in total. In the last 10, 12, 13 years. Terrible. Get more income and afford things. And it helps the streamers. Oh, you can afford things. Like what? Like the WWE champions? Yeah. He's saying the streamers. It helps the viewers. Like DoorDash, obviously. Get some kind of input into an event. It basically works hand in hand. Right? This is not a technique that I originated and I made up. In fact, people suggested this to me. Oh, so what is this? What is, what is this fucking fan art? How has this gone above my head until now? What is this? Oh my god!
It's fucking disgusting. The Sonic and the Mario still have their background on. Dude couldn't figure out how. And DSP is, is receiving stuff like this on his mail. And he posts it on his stream. On his actual mature adult with a fucking business degree stream. This fucking guy. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Yeah, I, I agree with you, DSP. Shut up. I agree with you. I know. No, keep quiet. Let's go back to the video. I'd say about three years ago, when I became a full-time streamer, I had a lot of stuff that was based around my Patreon, all right? And people said to me at that point, Phil, here's what you need to do. Stop focusing on Patreon because in reality... Oh, yeah, Patreon and of course, every... Every fucking idiotic decision or every fucking stupid suggestion that he gets is blamed on the fans. Oh, you told me to stop focusing on, on Patreon. Yeah, but this is your fucking business, you stupid clown. You should know how to run it. And you should take uh, initiative into running your business. Not a uh, random dude in your chat. Or Snow Carl or fucking Derek. They shouldn't be giving you the suggestions and you just follow it all the time. But he follows whatever's the easiest thing. So if people say, yeah, stop focusing on Patreon, that means stop focusing on, on giving... Uh, people fucking rewards for patreon patreon is something that's based around people who are content creators on youtube who don't have the element of interactivity that you have it's for someone who's doing this oh yeah he's way too interactive for patreon right way too interactive so if you're a patreon guy that implies that you're not interactive so you should keep doing patreon but dsp no 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 dsp he's way too interactive for that you should just give him money so he can exist on Patreon. That's why you should give him money. Not for, for some benefit or for some value that you as a consumer and as a user you're going to get. Very fucking fantastic uh, takes by DSP. Fantastic. Special project or raising funds to do something concrete. That's not what you're doing. What you're doing is you're doing interactive streams every day. So instead of focusing on Patreon as a way to raise funds. To of course, he still has a Patreon. It's It's a place where people literally just give them money for nothing it's just money for nothing patreon and I'll, I'll pull it up right now keep your business going you should have goals that are based off of things you do on your streams and add added interactivity to your streams so that's what i've done over the last several years i've adopted various things oh we hit a sub goal this month we'll be doing a special retrospective event where you guys can nominate your moments yeah the last you guys are gonna pick videos that dsp is gonna watch that he's gonna get bored and give you excuses about how boring the fucking videos are yeah he has 63 patrons and uh, almost 400 dollars a month yeah fantastic almost 400 bucks for literally nothing so he could keep doing this for nothing he gives you nothing for this money. No matter if you pledged $100 or $5 or $1. He gives you nothing. Zero is what you get. You just get to see his stupid mug on his stream. More. Sounds good? I think so. 12 years that I've been a content creator, your favorite ones, and we'll watch those back together on stream and I'll react to them. Or we're going to do a rage a thought where you guys nominate games that you feel will make me rage and I'll play those on stream. Or we'll do a Halloween event and you guys can vote on a costume and you can nominate a game. It's pretty common sense, all right? There's nothing shocking about this, okay? Now, I'm very sure... Jesus Christ, this, uh... All, all these fan arts piss me off incredibly. That there's people out I, there... I, I can't even express how, how annoyed I am. This fucking fan arts. <laughs> that don't do things like sub goals at all. And it could be because... They just do this for a hobby and they don't really care or it could be different. there's no difference doing it for a hobby or not there's no difference it's literally no difference i mean there there shouldn't be difference in your content that's what i'm saying there is a difference obviously if if you expect literally your entire income to come from donations on a live stream yeah, there is a difference in uh, you should reevaluate your your options really, because unless you're DSP, you shouldn't be counting on on other people. Because uh, let me tell you, DSP is literally unemployable. Like you cannot hire DSP in any co company in any capacity because he's a worthless employee. He's worthless because uh, if you don't want to employ him, 
you can just employ a 16 year old kid that is from high school or somebody from university who's gonna benefit from this job literally that's, that's it come on very profitable streamers maybe they have a giant fan base who constantly contributes and they don't have to worry about doing things like raising a certain amount of subs in a month or keeping their subs at yeah a maybe you should get a fucking job literally nobody not one person in life is forcing dsp to keep being a streamer but as i said he is unemployable i wouldn't even get him uh as timo says in chat as a walmart disabled greeter i literally will not get him as a as a greeter because he's not not nice enough he would quit after two days because he's too toxic because if he was a kind person and a nice person he would be more employable in in a variety of ways he could work anything come on but he number one has learned nothing from 13 years of doing this shit he hasn't learned to edit a video hasn't learned photoshop or any other image editing software he hasn't learned uh how to run a fucking stream that is actually genuinely interactive and actually genuinely high production value hasn't learned anything about technology hasn't learned anything really about gaming like genuinely about gaming how to write reviews how to to run a gaming outlet or anything hasn't learned anything about social media he doesn't know how to talk to people or how to socialize properly so he's not worth anything on the on the job market he is worthless as worthless as his uh, shitty content he means nothing to the job market because they can't hire him to do anything and he's physically unfit completely unfit where he can't nail a fucking nail into a wall he can't do that he's not fit for it uh his fire alarm is hanging by adhesive tape obviously he's completely incapable of doing anything any like handiwork anything he's just not capable so in the end of the day he outside of streaming which he does at like 10 percent quality let's say which is like the, the minimal if you're like an actual person and not like an a animal or something outside of this he's completely worthless on the job market and he has no no value as as a person as a working person and a member of society he has no value which is very fucking sad because after 10 years of this bullshit and this fucking begging and making money and trying to to scam his way through uh making another fucking uh adsense account or making another youtube channel or this and that he could have learned something genuinely he could have learned how to make good videos in uh, Premiere Pro or good thumbnails in uh, Photoshop or more fucking music or this and that in other software. And he could be at least decently employed as like some freelance guy who has different projects all the time and stuff. And he would build his portfolio. He's just fucking terrible. He has no fucking skills. And yeah. That's uh, that's the bottom line, if you want to know the bottom line. And uh, Timo in chat says, uh, did the vest rack, uh, was the vest rack on a Velcro strip taped on a wall? Yeah, exactly. It wasn't nailed into a wall, that's why it fell, and all the vests were sitting literally on the floor. Uh, and uh, like 45 seconds says in chat, he's not a handyman dude, he's just a gamer. Yeah, he, uh, he blames everything on being a gamer, on being a guy on being this and being that in the end of the day he's just inept in literally everything literally everything he's being inept he's even terrible at begging because if he was better at, at begging he wouldn't have to beg as much he's just fucking trash at literally everything that he does and that's kind of how it is and that's why we're sitting here making fun of him there's tons of channels making fun of him because he's fucking pathetic it's just the lowest fucking low of what he does is him. But he's never wrong and he's always correct. You know what I mean? Sounds good. Level. 
because that's not important to them. They've already made enough and they don't need to, to, go, to try to do that, right? Maybe there's someone who has an exclusive contract, right? Who they stream and get paid to stream. I don't have any of those things, all right? I'm in a situation where on a daily basis, I try to raise funds to keep the business going. Affording the games, paying the bill. I don't even want to fucking uh, hear about him calling this a business. Because this Burnell Enterprises, which is, by the way, how his actual business is called. And he has like a couple names that were on his uh, uh, leaked information and so on and so on. I think the, the actual one is called Burnell Enterprises. And it's a shit fucking business. It's a business based on begging, which is pretty fucking terrible. If you gotta ask me. That's not begging. That's business. Shut up, DSP. I agree with you. I agree with you. I know. Stop it. Bill's having a life. All right? This is very matter of fact. This is not me trying to be a But is who is having a life? Excuse me? The, the person who doesn't go outside? On a daily basis, I try to raise funds to keep the business going. Affording the games, paying the bills, having a life. Oh, he's having a life, you guys. He's having a life. And uh, one of the excuses that I really like about DSP is what he says, it's uh, all I want to do is sit here and, and have fun, you guys, and chill and relax. Well, if that's your job, you can't always do that. Because I don't get to always chill and interact at my job. Because sometimes shit gets hard. It's not always hard, sometimes it's hard, but when it gets hard, I don't fucking whine about it. That's kind of how it is. And sometimes the streaming job is not just getting money and sitting and playing video games sometimes it's it's fucking tough because nobody wants to give money to dsp that's why it's fucking tough so you don't get to sit there and just chill and interact you get to fucking put a little bit more effort and make some edited video or make something that's gonna put some value in your channel if you want people to support your lifestyle which is fucking ironic man this guy and i know i'm derailing myself into massive rants right now but this fucking guy is expecting for people to pay for his lifestyle, which let me remind you, his lifestyle is ordering food, spending thousands of actual dollars on, on a mobile game, and going outside on his day days off to go to a restaurant and to buy alcohol. This is his lifestyle that he expects you to pay for. Give me a fucking break. How about that? All right, this is very matter of fact. This is not me trying to be abrasive to your, to your comment, but I just feel like you asking me this on pre-stream, obviously this is a bait question where you're trying to get me to say something. Obviously it's bait. Gonna rise out of me, and you're not gonna get it. I'm Ironically, when, when Snow Carl sends bait, that's all chill. That's, uh, that's not bait. That's an actual uh, charitable contribution, if I'm correct. A good mood today, and I'm just gonna tell you that when you ask me questions like this without qualifying, uh, information like compared to this streamer who's this big and has this kind of a following and doesn't do stream go or doesn't do these goals why do you do them dsp if you gave a fuck after 10 years of content and i'm not even i'm not even fucking joking with you if you cared after 10 years of content you would have been making seven figure views I'm talking millions of views within 24 hours of you uploading a video because years of content in years of grind matter when you care. This is how PewDiePie did it. This is how Markiplier did it. This is how uh, Rest in Peace uh, Total Biscuit did it. And all these other guys who were like actual OGs who cared and put, put their grind and improved and paid an editor to make their videos and made like spin-off channels and made connections with other people. That's how they did it. But Dark Side Phil is gonna stay until the end of eternity in this position that he is in. Because as Tyler says in chat, he has zero motivation to grow as a person. He will never admit he is wrong about anything and he's a prisoner to his own narcissism. And that's a it's great that this comment just popped up. I agree with you. And uh, I'm pretty sure actually uh, my friend here, Dave, would agree with you as well. I agree with you. Yeah, he does. It's pretty awesome. Now, just because of those reasons and more, he will never get out of this situation. That's what it's going to be for eternity because he genuinely, genuinely does not see that he's done anything wrong in the, in the matter. 
he doesn't see a way to improve because improvement would suggest that you're not doing something in the best way that you could and you should get better but he doesn't see it for him he's doing every single thing he's been doing on his shitty low effort streams at the best of his ability and the best of that he could ever do so he can't physically improve sounds good yeah pretty much uh, now let's skip to the next thing here uh i really don't care about this let's go to the actual dsp tries because that shit is disgusting and i wanted to to watch his actual phone call meeting because uh i think it's pretty interesting we also have the chat as well and uh earlier in the beginning of the stream i ran a poll and uh people were saying that they want to see this video man so yeah, we we might see this video after this uh, DSP tries it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a. Plus, I want to watch it again because I have quite a few things that I would like to to say. Special Halloween Halloween Day episode of DSP tries it. It is Halloween 2020, and for this event, first of all, I was expecting to do it a lot earlier. I was in line for over 30 minutes to get. Oh, actually, I, and I just thought about one instance of uh, him being able to grow is when him, Kekin, and Brian. This is. Two uh, other irrelevant kind of guys. Uh, they played Apex Legends today. To together. That's what I meant to say. And when they played it, it was kind of boring. And uh, the, the trolls were intentionally pretending to love Brian. Like he was the coolest fucking guy. But DSP didn't really take it all that well. He was taking it as somebody is hogging the spotlight, you know, uh, and so on. Um, Eddie asks in chat how old DSP is, uh, DSP is 39, so yeah, only 39 going on, uh, 56 that I've seen. Anyways, so they were playing that game, uh, Apex Legends, and that was a chance for him to grow and actually branch out his stuff, and instead he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't fun, he wasn't interactive as you would fucking say. And that was it, it was pretty fucking miserable. Instead of him putting some more effort to be a little bit fun and to have this sense of camaraderie and fun with the other guys who he was playing the games with, instead it was bullshit. And uh, Timo is right, he was carried all the way. He was. It was uh, It was just Brian being fun, uh, they were reading chat, they were having fun, and yeah. So, that's what it is. It is what it is, as DSP likes to say get the food for today's dsp tries it yeah there were 17 cars in line at oh my god every fucking time with this pathetic fucking complaints where it's like ah i don't know i don't know uh it's usually the people with the easiest lives that complain this much which kind of rubs me the wrong way if i gotta be honest because i would would never be like even think about seeing for example uh, a Polish immigrant working in a warehouse complain about shit like this. It's always the privileged DSP Gaming who lives in a fucking two, two story condo in Washington, one of the expensive fucking states. It's always that guy who complains. It's not a, a dude who has to work like 60 hours a week or 50 hours a week, let's say. It's always the DSP that has to complain about shit like this. PPM, figure that one out. I have no idea, but two chicken sandwiches on the menu right Wait, now. Wait, hold on. This is a fucking scam. This is the same shit we watched earlier, isn't it? That are new offerings. See. Might be a scam. I'm curious to see which is better. There is the this is 2020. Jalape bacon jalapeno chicken sandwich. Bacon jalapeno. And then there is the pub chicken sandwich. Whoa. Okay. Epic. Head to head. A taste test. Head to head. Yeah, Let's pretty go. much. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the same shit. We got pickles. Some... Oh my god. Oh my god. This this man He's is slight. fucking wild animal. I don't know what happened to him as a child. It must have been terrible. But uh, Jesus Christ, this this guy is completely. Okay, so it's uh it's yeah, a new thing. The... It's not a rerun. The cost of like the whole a whole combo meal anywhere else seven dollars and twenty nine cents. The bacon jalapeno sandwich I think is six dollars and eighty nine cents. Yeah, you have tips total two hundred. $65. Why are you crying about? You can afford this fucking so piece of shit. So price wise, these sandwiches are almost equivalent and they are- And also what, what fucking pisses me off is that this fucker 
goes around and complains. After he has enough money in his lifestyle to literally blow it away on a mobile game, not even actual gambling, because you know, actual gambling, you have the, the idea and the kind of ambition in mind that in the best case, you're gonna make a lot of money. You're gonna make a lot of fucking money and you're gonna recoup your losses. You're gonna pay back all the people that you owe. But this fucker, he plays a mobile game that has a 0%, a 0% chance that you will ever make some money out of it or make your money fucking back. And this fucker complains about it, complains about not getting money. This fucker, not somebody else. It's this son of a bitch that complains about it. After spending all this money on, on fucking wrestlers with, uh, with power points on them. Fucking bullshit. Uh, thank you for the sub, Cadsper. They are very effing expensive. Like, I'm shocked. I was shocked at the yeah, price. Yeah, Hulk Hogan is very fucking expensive, DSP. Stop spending money on it. Which is actually, if I gotta be completely, completely honest with you, and you know I'm the honest guy. Uh, I'm very happy that DSP is spending his money on fucking bullshit mobile games because otherwise he would be okay financially. And I don't think I did I don't think DSP deserves to be okay financially. I don't think he's ever shown any qualities of a person that justify him being okay financially. I don't think he should ever be okay financially. I don't think so. I think that would be the fair and just thing to happen is for DSP to never be able to get on his feet because he can't handle money. He can't handle it. He can't... Yeah. And uh, Casper makes a good point. He's a slave to his addiction. He's a slave to giving money to fucking WWE. And beg every day. Like, I understand if you're making a, like a six-figure job, working at some executive position, whatever, whatever, and you would spend money on stupid shit like this and you wouldn't care. But he begs every day. Imagine having this in your mind that you have to beg every day. You have to ask people to give you money. How humiliating is this? I would rather work fucking two jobs than actually come to somebody and ask them for money. It's humiliating for me. And I believe it is for most of you watching. Because it's a fucking thing where, you know, people usually earn their money. And DSP is expecting to put in this fucking content, this low effort fucking bullshit, and expects to make a living out of it enough so he could keep living the lifestyle that he lives, which is spending incredible amounts of money, life-changing amounts of money on fucking WWE. This is fucking crazy. It's crazy how little self-respect he has while telling you that he used to be this Super positive guy, super fucking popular guy. What a fucking clown. Just typically, it's maybe like five, six dollars tops for a sandwich at, at a fast. And uh, I kind of feel bad sometimes for uh, people like my parents because uh, I would buy a game that's like 60 fucking euros and they would ask me, like, well, how much does this cost? And I'm like, 60 euros. And they would look at me like, what? It's fucking 60 euros for a video game? You fucking crazy? And yeah, I feel like it sometimes too. But I mean, game developers gotta get paid, you know? You know what I mean? So yeah, but uh, I don't know how my parents or somebody else's parents or DSP's parents would react to fucking DSP spending this much money on it. You know what I mean? And uh, Casper says, beyond WWE, there's the recent bait where he puts the goal at 50, then puts the glasses on, then he switches to 100. It's just, it's the same thing, yeah. It's, uh, because we know a lot of the people that watch him are in some way, uh, I don't know, I don't know, uh, exceptional, let's say, or unusual, we could say, and, uh, they get scammed by the fact that they think the tip's goal is 50, but it's actually 150, and it's been, it just doesn't say it on screen, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean? That's food place, 729 for an effing sandwich, all right, holy shit. <laughs> it is. It's greasy. I got napkins right over here. Smells good. So this is the pub chicken sandwich from Wow, Wendy's. delicious DSP. Okay, home style. And actually, it kind of uh, what I think draws people into DSP and what irritates people about DSP is that 
the, the duality of DSP. In a way, he believes himself to be an innovator, a creator, a developer, um, a guy with such creativity and such ambition and such crazy accomplishments. And in the other side, he's a beggar. And he's a pathetic piece of, sh piece of shit who asks, pe who asks people for money every single day. And he thinks that these both things can coexist. And he could be this super successful guy with a legacy that everybody cared about. And he's so hot and he's so fun and he's so chill and he's so interactive. But in the same way, he's a beggar. In the same time, he's a beggar. And he asks you for money and he told, tells you that he doesn't know what's going to happen if he doesn't tip, hit the tip skull. He doesn't know how he's going to pay the fucking uh, mortgage. He doesn't know how he's going to not have late fees and this and that. It's just fucking bullshit. And this is what I think draws people in to take on a, a, a closer look at him. Because this is him. He wants to be both. He wants to be both. The small guy who makes like content for his small community of people and also the mega successful guy that everybody wanted to be like him back in the day. Everybody was jealous that he was making all this money. And also something else that rubs me off. Um about DSP is that he has this weird thing where he thinks that gaming as a job and this is a, an opinion from like 10 years ago gaming as a job is super prestigious so you should stick to it no matter what even if you have to beg people for a living if you have to beg for them to be able to afford everything you should just stick to it because it's the best job out there gaming is the best job you heard it from me you heard it from DSP uh, DSP obviously agrees with me. I agree with you. Yeah, obvious. Uh, creak and brash, which means it's just it's breaded, but it's... Yeah, uh, I agree, Casper. He, he does flip-flop in an yeah, amazing amount of ways. He flip-flops over everything. Uh, so, yeah. Let's open it and take a look and see what's actually in it. We got pickles. We've got fried onions. We got bacon. Their, their standard applewood smoked bacon. We've got what I believe is a Munster cheese slice on it. And then I think this is supposed to be the beer batter chicken sauce. Okay. And all that is on a pretzel bun, which I like the Wendy's pretzel buns. They're pretty unique compared to other fast food buns. Wow. So unique and robust and tangy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to go and uh, take a little bathroom break and you can watch this phenomenal review of a burger. From uh, the dark side, obviously. Um. So, like I said, this is seven dollars and twenty-nine cents for this damn thing. All right. Hmm. Hmm. That is interesting. The chicken is very good. I loved Wendy's chicken. It's juicy. The breading is always really good. Um, take a second bite here. Hold on. It's very crunchy. We'll take a third bite. Now, this bite's going to have a lot of bacon in it. I didn't get any bacon yet. In the bites that I've done, this bite should probably have a lot of bacon in it. Okay? A ton of bacon. Oh my god. That bite reminded me. Oh my god, this man. A, wow. Um, I don't know, they still How do grotesque. It. It's like chicken chicken bacon. Did I forget to go uh forgot to get more beer. At Arby's. Cause that was almost all bacon and chicken and nothing else. I didn't really get any other flavors there. So, all right, I'm going to take one more bite. I don't think I've gotten all of the flavors in one bite. Like, the first bite was salty, but it had a, a, a balance with the pickle. Then I got a really crunchy bite where I got a lot of onions and pickles. And the third bite was all bacon. Like, I'm not, I'm not seemingly getting all the flavors in one bite. And quite frankly, I'm not really tasting the beer sauce at all in it. All right, one more bite, okay? Devour. Devour. Okay. What a grotesque image of a a, a pigman hybrid 
devouring a burger. It's pretty tangy, huh? Well, my opinion is it's, it's okay, it's good. Like salty, overpowering salt. Overpowering salt. salt. Not bad. <laughs> the bacon jalapeno sandwich. Guess what? We are not doing a head-to-head -head DSP tries it. Because they gave me two pub chicken Yo, sandwiches. Yo, there is no fucking way. This is literally a fucking rerun. We watched this earlier. Oh my lord. Oh my god. This fucking sucks. How can this be happening? I literally got scammed. I got scammed. Anyways, so we can watch this, whatever, whatever. Let's, uh, some Barry costume. I don't even know who Barry is. Barry. Let's see. But it's a low effort costume anyways. That's right. <laughs> Pop gun, of course. I just walk wow. down the street casually with this gun like this to see what happens, you know? Hi, everyone. How you doing? Happy Halloween. Yeah, I'm sure it's a great idea. I looked at a bunch of different places like Party City, Halloween Store. This is the only gun that even looks like a real handgun that you could get. <laughs> we we even fucking got scammed by by a fucking DSP video, not even by DSP himself. This sucks. Any store, everything else was like a little toy neon piece of shit because they're afraid people are gonna hold up like a 7-Eleven with this gun. Damn, this gun looks big on camera. Holy shit, look how big that is. Damn, looks big though, right? Okay. Um, okay. So you guys want, want Team Fortress 2. All right. Let us stop recording. And I'm going to leave the stream rolling. I'm not going anywhere. But what I should do is actually then I should turn off the PS4. Yeah, this guy back. fucking sucks. Put the controller in. Uh, so now while his pre-stream rolls, because this is fucking bullshit. This is uh, unwatchable. And uh, Team Fortress 2 or whatever. With some nonsense and Dino Crisis because uh, Dino Crisis and Team Fortress is what you play for Halloween. So now we're gonna listen to his bankruptcy call. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, ESP went through bankruptcy. Fantastic. He scammed the government too, just like he scammed me a couple minutes ago with this video. Now he scammed the government, and uh, fortunately, there was a good Samaritan prayer hands in chat who managed to get it all on video and streamed it to Twitch. Yes, you heard this right. His bankruptcy call was streamed on Twitch. Uh, now we're going to watch this in its entire glory with uh, the chat. And then... Uh, and then we might wrap this up. Or we might watch a little bit of his pre-stream. But that shit is... You already know what it is. Like, I don't even have to explain to you how he, how it is. And, uh, no, I don't know if I've seen the, the clip that's called DSP the Gout. Uh, I, I'm not really sure if I've seen this. I gotta be honest. Gotta be honest. Now, let's see if this content is business related and DSP still owns it. Office with you? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Brunel, you there? As you can see, the chat I'm was wilding. Present. I'm present. Mr. Brunel, would you raise your right hand? Yes. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That's uh, yeah, that's that's a scam, by the way. He lied. He lied about so many things. It's not even. I don't even have time to tell you how many things he lied about. It to the point where you'll see the lady that is challenging him is asking him such questions that you would ask like a three-year-old fucking child. This is how inept DSP is even with the help of his tax attorney or his actual attorney to figure out what it is. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a sad fucking moment. Yes. Yes. Get your full name, please. Philip Paul Burnell. Philip Paul. Is your address still the same as the address on the petition? Phil Paul. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? It cut out. Is your address still the same as the address on your petition? Yes, it is. Did you prepare and file with the bankruptcy court a list of all of your assets and all of your liabilities? Yes. Are those documents, including the petition, the schedules, and the statement of financial affairs, true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Are there any changes that need to be made? Okay, so DSP no. is actually live. Before you filed these documents, did you read them? Yes. Sign them? Yes. Yes. 
So he reviewed them, huh? He reviewed them. And his uh, initial fucking docking was straight up a scam. He, he lied about so many fucking things. Dude has... His assets are valued at uh, 1500 fucking dollars. All his video game stuff. It's bullshit. He lied through his teeth about this. Find these documents? Yes. I'm gonna turn on turn off my music so uh because this is a little bit quiet, I think. Okay, let's see if this is gonna be a little bit better. Bankruptcy information sheet. Yes. Read that document? Yes. You ever filed yes. for bankruptcy before? No. No. <laughs> you will you will, boy. You will, boy. There will be a second one. The redemption run, obviously. This time he's not gonna lie as much. Are you required to make any domestic support payments to anyone? No. Tax return you provided to me, is that a true and correct copy? Yes. Are you still self-employed? Yes. Yes. What is that self-employed? It's business related. Did I still own it? Uh, the company's name is Brunel Productions. It is internet content creation <laughs> of on-demand and also live video streaming services. Brunel Productions, everybody. Oh, my God. That's not begging. That's business. He's a businessman, boys. Uh, Green Lobster is asking, what is this? Now, this is DSP's bankruptcy meeting, which was uh, streamed on Twitch, as you would any other bankruptcy meeting, obviously. Yes. Find that again, please. Sure. It's an internet content creation uh, of on-demand <laughs> The prestige. Video. He and does also, everything, by the way. He's the ugh, internet content creation of uh, in-demand, on-demand video production of uh, vlogs and videos and all kinds of stuff. Epic. Live streaming video services. Here, um, pause this just because I'm making notes here. Okay. On demand fucking begging services, more like. I'm going to start basically at the beginning of your schedules and just kind of work through them. The first thing you have listed here is real property in Connecticut. Where am I going to put that this correct? now? That's correct. Real yeah. property. When did you purchase this property? Ooh, okay. I want to say it was. Roughly July of 2009, I believe. What was the purchase price? Um, I want to say it was in the $135,000 range. I could be off by a bit there, but that's I believe that's correct. <laughs> Is the property currently rented? No. All of my money goes to bills. All of my money goes to bills. Can you repeat that? Is the property vacant? It is vacant, yes. Is the property insured? Um, to the best of my knowledge, yes. I have not, you know, made a payment on it in quite some time. Uh, but I believe that it's still insured, you know, through the mortgage company. I think they've been paying it. <clears throat> okay, when's the last time you made a payment? Uh, I will. Either it was either April. He doesn't know, by the way. He simply doesn't know. Sorry, you cut out. I didn't hear that. Are you what? When was the last? <laughs> I, I I don't know why, but I feel like the the tax attorney or the attorney lady that is next to him, like in real life, that his actual attorney, he sa she sounds pretty fucking dumb as well. I d I don't know what's up with this. He probably went for the the cheapest one available. And this lady seems so fucking dumb. And uh, Helper Crow, I'm also stoned, but I'm listening, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if this uh, dude started. No, fucking music, obviously. On the Connecticut property. 
Uh, so how come he lied in the hearing and got away with it? Well, hmm. He lied and then he made it all about himself being harassed daily by trolls. And uh, people didn't want to bother, I guess. They really didn't care. I guess. Which, they didn't do their job very well. And it was COVID stuff. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone was pretty incompetent, to be honest. But he did lie, for sure. Uh, as you will see later in this call. Lady gets very suspicious. I have the um, motion for relief if you want me to look at that and find the exact date. No, I just want his recollection. Oh, okay. Do you recall when you made the last payment? In April or May of 2019. I believe it was probably April. You also list real property and Renton, is that correct? That's correct. When did you purchase that? That was purchased in June of 2014. What was the purchase price? I believe that was $265,000. You lived there since you purchased it? Yes, I have lived there since I purchased it. Are the mortgage payments current on this property? Yes. Anyone know what that beeping is? I'm sorry, what was that? I'm hearing a beeping. Are you hearing it on your end? I'm hearing it too, but I don't know. No idea what that might be. We'll hope it goes away. <laughs> is the property insured? Yes. Yeah. And is this a house or a condo? Mr. Burnell, is this a house or a condo? Is this a house or a condo? He's been telling us for uh, for a couple of years that it's a house. It's a beautiful big house, right? Hello. Hello, Mr. Burnell? Burnell? <laughs> He's gone. Where is he? Ek, ek, ek. Where is he? He got banned. <laughs> oh, where is Mr. Burnell? Shout out to Sean Ranklin. Where is he? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Come on, where's Mr. Burnell? For Nancy? real, though. Oh, yes. Nancy. Sorry, oh. there's 60 people on the line for this call. Oh. So I think that's the problem. <laughs> Is that so? Okay. But uh, we're back on. Okay. Drop out and then I don't. Mr. Bernal? I don't know that beeping's coming from. Okay. Well, let's try and just keep going. Okay. So, Mr. Bernal, my question was Is this a house or a condo? Uh, it is a condo. Oh, it's a condo, you guys. There's uh, a casual 60 people on the call. Who knows why? Answer the know. question whether or not you have electronics, you say no. Is that a correct answer? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Your schedules indicate you have no electronics. Is that correct? Oh, uh, no electronics. No Are electronics. No electronics, by the way. Listen to this. To the business or in regards to my personal belongings in regards to the business or your personal belongings mr burnell well your personal this is your personal oh apparently stream died maybe maybe not but uh it's going chill for now i don't know let's keep going there are electronics that are considered business assets and then Personal electronics would be in the household goods and furnishings um, section. I just kind of lump them together. Okay, 
so let me go through some assets that some of your creditors have told me that you might own. And if you could tell me if they're personal or business and if you still have them. Okay, we're back. We're revived. Now, tell me if this is a personal expense or a business expense and if you still have it. Okay, simple enough. Let's see. Station 4 Pro System. That's correct. That is uh, business related and I do still have it. Okay. About a standard PlayStation 4. That is, uh, I still own it. It is uh, business related. Oh, it's business related. The PS4. Pretty much. Okay. Makes sense. Plays games on it for his business. PlayStation 3. Yep, that is uh, business related. I still have it. <clears throat> Nintendo Wii. <laughs> All uh, these game related. boxes. Imagine how fucking humiliating this is to be there at a bankruptcy call and the lady has to read down all of your, your little shiny uh, gameplay systems. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, DSP, come on. Why you gotta be like this? Hey, where did it go? Nintendo oh, okay. Yeah. Nintendo Wii? Yes, business related. I do still own oh, it. Oh, business related. What a coincidence. Nintendo Switch? Yes, business related, and I do still own it. <clears throat> okay, sure. Xbox 360. Yes, Xbox 360, business related. I do still business own it. Business related, still own it, boy. Nintendo 3DS. Yes, business related, and I do still own that. Oh. Hmm, what happened? Uh, yes, I do still own the PlayStation Vita, and uh, it is business related, and I do still own it. Yeah. Oh, it's still business related, even though. Uh, <laughs> very nice fucking image in real time on your screen. Uh, by the way, he didn't play the Vita. The Vita. He didn't play it for his business. So he literally just bought it, did not use it. It was business related, still own it. Sounds good? Sounds good. PlayStation Virtual Reality. Yes, I do still own the PlayStation uh, Virtual Reality, and it is business related, and I have it. <clears throat> it's business related, you guys. You have a computer. Whoever's making the beeping sound, if you please stop. <laughs> please stop. I've been begging. Computer? I do have a business related computer. Yes. It's related. Business related computer. computer. Business related. I'm computer, sorry. By the way. Home no personal electronics of any kind whatsoever. No personal electronics. Even his phone is a is a business style phone. Oh no, I do not have a, a home related computer. No, it's just a business related computer. Do you have an iPad? Um, I do. It is very old and not functional. You? <laughs> Explain to me how you decide, decide if it's business-related um, or your personal property. Now, here is when you know you're fucked. When somebody asks you, please explain to me. How do you even decide all this shit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how he fucking decided it. Sure. Uh, anything that I say is business-related is used solely for the purpose of my internet video content creation or my live streaming. Uh, I, you know, broadcast video games all day, six days a week. And so everything that I just listed is used as a device to cast gaming. Okay. Who purchases the various gaming pieces? I do. Personally? Yes. Does the business have a separate business bank account? No. Okay. Hello, Mr. Burnell. Does Mr. Burnell. Does the file its its own tax returns? Oh. I'm not sure how how. It, well, it looks like they are. Do you file a separate tax return for the business, or is it all in your personal? I just do one tax return, so it must okay. be my personal, yes. Your business is included on your personal tax return? Yes.
you own or have any access to any online gaming packages? Uh, if you mean like subscription-based gaming services, yes. Correct. Yes. And tell me how those work as far as ownership. How does that work as far as ownership? Was that the question? Yes. Uh, they're all personally in my name, connected with my own personal online accounts, and they are all business-related in order to uh, play video games online. Many of these services are required in order to actually play games in a multiplayer capacity. I'm not Norwegian. I, mean, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> um, I off the top. My camera stopped working, so I guess no camera until the end of the stream. Which is going to be pretty soon, by the way. I'm not going to go through all of this. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Top of my head, I would say at least three. I know that there's one for Nintendo, there's one for Xbox, and there's one for PlayStation. There may be more if I actually were to, you know, d dive deep. But I believe those are the three main ones. Dive. Let's dive. <clears throat> How much does each of them cost? Oh, man. Uh, this is just an estimate. I would assume each one roughly costs around $50 a year there because I, I don't have the information in front of me but i certainly could you know break that down at a later date i'm also not hungarian uh the stuff that shows up when i open a new tab this is because of my vpn okay Eight. sounds good so they're about 50 dollars a year yeah, I, that's what i would estimate yes Mr. Burnell? Hello? Oh, please. Okay. Originally, you listed only one bank account with Bank of America. Is that correct? That is correct. And I think you filed an amendment where you listed a PayPal account. Yes, that is correct. Hey, stop guessing where I'm from. That's not fair. So tell, me, PayPal. tell me how your PayPal account works. Um, PayPal is an online uh, currency system where people can send funds digitally and they're held in a virtual, uh, that's not technically a bank account, but it's a virtual account, which a can then be used to make purchases explaining online. Explaining how PayPal works. Online, uh, there's a debit card system. The way it works is as I am creating content, people willingly decide whether or not they want to contribute to help me to continue to create content. And some people will go to uh, what I call my PayPal tips page online and they submit funds via my PayPal account. <laughs> how, uh, like, how much does he go around the point of saying, yeah, people give me money? Has to say, oh, it's a, it's a charitable contribution. Oh, it's a, they send me funds. Dude, come on. Be fucking honest for once. In order to contribute to the business. What did you call that PayPal what account? Tips page. That's what I call tips it. A PayPal page. tips page. It's just okay. an online uh, website address okay. where people can contribute monetary funds over the internet uh, as a way of basically saying, you know, we like the content you create and we want you to continue to do it. So here's, you know, some funds to help doing it. Now, in addition to that, uh, I received payment from two different companies. One is called Twitch. the live streaming service company. The other is YouTube, which I'm sure you've probably heard of. That's on-demand video services. And in both of those companies, I either upload content or I live stream content. And I make revenue via those services via various methods, advertisements, and, and other kinds of contribution. And they monthly send me a deposit via PayPal. Uh, for whatever I have earned in that month. Okay. So that's why there's two PayPal accounts. One is for kind of crowdfunding contributions from people who like what I do. The other is from two actual companies who pay me online for my work. Okay. So there's crowdfunding. This is <laughs> the way he made it seem like he's an employee of YouTube or Twitch. No. Oh, okay, never mind. You You know how it is. Considered like uh, someone wants to give you a gift, and that's how they give it to you. Uh, yes, from my understanding, from speaking with my tax attorney, 
uh, a uh, charitable contribution. A it would charitable be the same as contribution, if went to a restaurant you guys. And you were a charitable fucking contribution, you guys. That's how it's called. A charitable contribution. I hate this fucking shit. Because he can sit there all day and beg you for money, and in the end, he's going to weasel out of out of it by saying, oh, it's a it's a charitable contribution. What the fuck? Get lost. Waiter or waitress or a bartender and did a good job, and someone said, oh, I really like the job you did, so they would send, give the person a tip. Uh, so it's the same premise with me. If I'm doing a really good live stream or if I put out on people really enjoy, they have the completely optional ability Okay. Uh, per my per my tax attorney, PayPal tips are basically considered like a tip that you would leave at a restaurant. So if, if you have a good uh, bartender or a good waiter, explaining literally how tips work. Or a waitress, you would leave them a tip. Um, that's exactly what my PayPal tips page is. If I'm doing a good live stream for the day, or if I put out on-demand video content that people think is you know good they will optionally and willingly send me a tip via my paypal tips page that's how it works okay i'm looking at the paypal account that you have sent me one has twitch interactive incorporated sends you a check and then it looks like that same amount goes out says instant withdraw to debit card how does that work yes uh, what it is is that it file account and then I, I put it into my bank account via the debit card. It's an instant okay. transfer so that way I can use it, you know, for bills and other things. Okay. What is Patreon? And maybe uh, I'm Patreon is that is a a uh, third party website um where people can con pledge a monthly pledge to my Patreon account. It's again considered crowdfunding or fundraising. Um it's at, you can find it at patreon.com. That's the website that, that I use. And uh, it's optional. Again, again, if people like the content that I'm putting out, they can pledge some money to my Patreon as a, as a monthly subscription service to me uh, every month. Okay. What is WWE? Now? Imagine being a DSP Patreon pledge. That shit is fucking sad because you know you're giving money to nothing. Your money is going nowhere. It's going to a burger or to literally a microtransaction. It's it's a waste of money. Might as well just give it to literally anyone. Literally anybody. You can give it to Donald Trump. Same shit. Network. What is WWE Network? Where is it? What it is? What is it? How it, does it work? Nobody knows. You'll never know. Can you repeat that, please? Can you what repeat that, please, w Mr. Burnell? WWE Network. WWE oh, Network. That is uh, just a, an on-demand video service uh, for watching, you know, pro professional videos. wrestling. That is not. Is business. that a personal expense? Is that a business expense? Did he write it as a business expense? Mr. Lee. You've provided me a copy of your PayPal account for one month. I would like to see the last six months of both of your PayPal statements. Now, this is another trick question. I would like to see both PayPals for the last six months. And I have no idea how he justified the fucking WWE championship, which we all know is happening. Uh, he probably justified it as something that he spends money on for his content, a microtransaction for his content, which is a fucking lie. It's an obvious lie. Very nice. Oh no, it's gonna happen. <laughs> What's the problem? You want the six months of both PayPal's? Yes. Okay, I think I have that actually. I... Do you just? Uh, I, I wasn't sure if you needed all of that, but I'll send that over. Yeah, oftentimes I don't, as you know, but this one I want to see the last six months. Okay. You indicate that you have a business of Brunel Productions, is that correct? Brunel that Productions, correct. everybody. Is this considered a corporation? 
corporation or in full proprietorship? What is it? He doesn't know. I believe Never it's mind. full proprietorship. Oh, I believe it's uh, this thing my lawyer told me. Hello, Mr. Burnell? Where are you? I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Oh, thank you, Mr. Burnell. Actually, it's not, I know it's not a corporation. It's sole proprietorship. <laughs> are you entitled to a tax refund for, the, for 2019? No. Have you filed 2019? I don't recall which year you sent me. Have you filed 2000? I, I sent 2018. Have you filed your 19 yet? Oh, yes, I have. Um, in fact, I sent the final information within the last week, but my tax attorney notified me to do this coronavirus situation that everything's being delayed and it's not available yet, but I certainly could provide that, you know, when it is available. Okay, so when you say you sent it, who did you send it to? My tax attorney. My tax attorney. You see the, the wild man DSP that, that's on his streams, he's a badass, he's a cool guy, you know. He tells you shit like it is. He shits down your throat over, over the smallest thing. He calls you a fucking idiot, a fucking loser, a moron, a mentally ill shithead, and all this stuff. But now it's just, where are you, Mr. Burnell? Where is Mr. Burnell? Uh, I'm here. I mean, it's business related. I still own it. I still have it. Yeah, I send my tax information. He becomes a little spineless piece of shit, as you think he is in real life. I gotta be honest with you guys. Hello? Mr. Burnell? <clears throat> Mr. Burnell? I agree with you. Why do you agree with Mr. Burnell? Where are you? Hello? I'm a mature adult with a business degree. You list business assets of oh, business assets. Let's go. Five hundred dollars. One thousand five hundred dollars, yeah. Mr. Burnell. This is all his business assets. This is what all these PlayStations are worth. All these fucking Nintendo Switch, the PS. Uh, what was it? The ah, uh, never mind. The Vita. That's all it's worth. Fifteen hundred dollars. What a fucking liar. It was went through the list of the various gaming um, machines that you have. Is, is that included in your business assets? Yes. Yes? So it's your, Mr. Burnell? Your testimony then that the business machines that we went through that you indicated were all business assets, such as your, your various PlayStation machines. If you were to liquidate those, the value would be $1,500. And she's asking him the same question, but in a more like, like he's four years old. So she can see, is this motherfucker for real? Is he legitimately telling me he has $5,000 in a business expense and has $1,500 in business assets? All the, th the fucking things like th th this man, he's out of his fucking mind. And the lady was, was on point with it. But apparently, in the end of the day, they were just way too lazy to actually get to the bottom of it and where the money was going, and uh, probably incompetent too. So they, they really didn't give a fuck. And DSP felt like he won after he literally lied to the fucking government. Sure, if I were to liquidate them today, uh, you know, estimating, you know, a ballpark value, like a you know, garage sale or sell them immediately, yes, absolutely. No, that's okay. bullshit. Most of, most of the stuff there, like the computer is very old. It's over six years old. And the only business you have is Brunel Productions? That is correct. Brunel Productions, you guys. <clears throat> On-demand video begging content. On-demand begging is what Brunel Productions produce. Hello, Mr. Brunel? No? No? This Mr. Brunel? Mr. Burnell, where is this guy? Oh. YouTube, that varies greatly. It could be as low as, I think, the lowest month. You're breaking maybe $500, but it could be very high as well, uh, depending on the time of year, because YouTube ad revenue fluctuates. 
it could be as high as you know over a thousand dollars. So really, there uh, I would have to crunch some numbers to give you an average. Oh, quick! Hey, you broke crunch up some there numbers. a bit. My understanding. Why do you show up to a bankruptcy fucking meeting without knowing how much money you you got and how much money you spent? Like, why are you even there? Okay. Oh. Between five hundred and a thousand dollars a month, depending on the month. Sure. Okay. That that sounds about correct for an average. Yes. Okay. How about Twitch? How much do you make on a month from Twitch? Oh, uh, I would average. Let's just say between three thousand. It could be a little higher, or a little lower, but that's average. About three thousand. Yeah. Three to four. Three to four. How about Streamlabs? Streamlabs. Streamlabs, that's a program that I used to stream, but I don't make revenue from that. Yeah, your money goes through it, stupid ass. People pay you through Streamlabs, obviously. A lady can see some numbers. Oh, uh, at this point, I would say about between $300 and $400. A month. About Three and 400 What? It was more. Come on. Why are you a fucking liar? And he shows up to a meeting not knowing how much money he makes. W why is he even there? Teespring, uh, that is the t-shirt company. I make very little. Uh, maybe, at most, $100 a month. But usually it's much less than that. Hello? Mr. Burnell? Bruh. Where the fuck is Mr. Burnell? Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Oh, he's drinking gin, you okay. You provided to me, um, looks like summaries might be considered a profit and loss. Um, it, it talks about net profit slash loss calculations. You have various <laughs> columns here. He wrote some stuff. Having no idea what he wrote. He just put a bunch of numbers and now the lady is trying to figure out what he actually wrote. I just want a little bit of explanation. I just want a little bit of explanation because I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. Obviously, the first one is self-explanatory. You have the month. The next column you list profit slash income gross. Obviously. What is that? Profit income gross. That would be before any kind of expenses were taken out of it. It's just the gross income for that month. Do you mean where does the income come from? Like the different... Um, well, I think you'll understand as we go on, so I understand this. So then you say expenses total, and then you mm -hmm. say, and in a separate column, you have just business expenses. What's the difference between those two, and how do you calculate them? Um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I believe what you're referencing is that. It's oh, you're right in front of you? Yeah. I, I believe I broke it down so that in one case, it would be. All the money that I make, you know, the gross profit minus the business expenses. Then the other case was showing in regards to all of my personal debts, you know, including the payments that I was making on things like like credit cards and things like that. I think you know, from the top of my head, I think that's what you're speaking of. So when I did the beans test, I only used the business figures. Yeah, and his uh, his attorney has no idea what's happening as well. Like she's as lost as DSP, but um. Knowing DSP, he probably paid the cheapest fucking attorney in the world. Personal would be what's on the INJ. Or the J, um, like regular living expenses. Okay. What do you consider a business expense? Uh, anything relating... The question is... In the middle of the call, what do you consider a business expense? The lady is so fucking confused by how this pig-human hybrid made his papers that she doesn't even know how he was fucking, what he was thinking when he was writing these papers. He lied so much that the lady has to ask him, Dude, do you even fucking know what a business expense means? How did you determine that shit? You know, to the business per the instruction of my tax attorney. So it could be 
Oh, okay. Uh, the cost of a video game, the cost of a, a subscription for a video game, a microtransaction within a video game. Oops, there, there, there we got it. There we got the justification of the WWE champions. There we go. That's it. A microtransaction within a video game. Even though DSP Gaming never buys fucking microtransactions in his playthroughs. He never fucking buys it. But what is in the bankruptcy statement? Microtransactions. Wow, what a fucking surprise. DSP lied to the government. Very nice. Um, the cost of a piece of new equipment. Um, piece of new know, equipment? Like what? Equipment. Like the, the, the shit that fans donate? That kind of stuff? I don't know. I don't think that's covered, because they got it covered, not DSP. DSP doesn't spend money on fucking equipment, as we know from his 480p camera. And as we know from his lack of a green screen, lack of a proper layout, he doesn't spend money in anything about his streams. He doesn't invest any fucking money in his streams. Come on. Um, it could be... Uh, the uh, internet cost of internet every month. It could be cost of you know utilities necessary for the business. You know cost of cell phone for the business. Uh, you know Where all those things would be included. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, and basically anything related to my internet content creation. You know, including like I said, uh, cost of video games, cost of subscription-based services, microtransactions within video games. Um, cost of the internet. Um, Sorry. I just said keep going and we'll try and ignore that beeping sound. Okay. Right. Yeah. I, and uh, as the pig roach luck usually goes about it, he weasels out of it. Of course, as usually. Like his uh, his bankruptcy went through even though he lied. And now it it's actually revealed that he in fact, lied about the whole WWE Champions thing. There is no way, there is no way, my dear viewers, that he did not spend hundreds or thousands, more likely thousands, of dollars on microtransactions for WWE Champion while this shit was going on. There is no way. I think and, I'm yeah, I gotta feel bad for uh, Nancy. That's the lady that uh, is on the other side of the call against DSP. But she didn't do her job. And, uh... She was sloppy, and she didn't have an idea what she was talking about, and DSP literally fucking scammed her. So, uh, good job, Nancy. Depending upon shit. most of it, you know, basically anything that is related to me creating content on the internet, whether it's the on-demand videos or the live streaming, and, you know, there's many factors, including not only the cost of the video games, but the internet and microtransactions and all kinds of things that happen within, you know, the realm of gaming. Uh, yes, Helper Crawl. She did uh, let let him slide, and uh, he got even the easier kind of bankruptcy. Uh, he got Chapter Seven, not Chapter Thirteen, so uh, he ended up not being very much fucked. And uh, that's kind of how it is. Bankruptcy actually, factually, kind of erased his debts, and that's it. Years of years, maybe half of his life. He's been making terrible financial decisions and losing money on going to conventions and going to Street Fighter tournaments and losing money playing Street Fighter has been all wiped away because he claimed it was a business expense and he still owns it. Sounds good. Uh, I think DSP would agree with me. I agree with you. Yeah, he agrees with me. It's all good. He didn't scam anybody. Are you currently married? Yes. Your wife joining in this petition? No. Do you have any assets that are not listed on these documents? No. It's a recent marriage. Yeah. It's a pretty recent marriage, so these deaths were basically separate. Pretty recent as to when were you married? Uh, April of 2019. Big ups to the secret marriage of DSP and Kat. That's fantastic marriage. Totally legit. Totally real. They love each other.
Dude, that's not even from me. That's probably from the video. I have no further questions. Are there creditors online? No online? further question. Now there are creditors online. Fantastic. Let's go a little bit forward. Because there is not much happening here. No. Well, no, we, that's, when did you realize you needed to file? I mean, what do you have? Oh, okay. Here it is. And you're okay. with Citibank? Mr. Burnell, Citibank? Mr. Burnell? Do you have questions you want to ask, Mr. Burnell? Mr. Burnell? Hello? Are you business related? Do I still own you? Mm. Mr. Burnell? Where are you? And did you realize you needed to file this game? Oh, Mr. Burnell? Uh, we filed. Oh my God, he's drinking well, now we, that's, When did you realize you needed to file? I mean, what do you have? So, we a little bit earlier. Yeah. I mean, uh, this that, clown you know, world October. stuff. Right. So, okay, I would say uh, middle of... Okay, hold on. Hello? Yes, are you a creditor? No, sorry, that was me. You cut out, so I just wanted to... Oh, this is some boomer shit. <laughs> Make sure you were still there. Okay, are there any creditors on the line? Okay, your name, please. Oh, your last name? And you're with Citibank? We can't hear the guy. Do you have questions apparently. you want to ask, Mr. Burnell? Mr. Burnell? Did you pay your taxes? Mr. Burnell? Are you scamming the government? Mm. Mr. Burnell? What is uh, 1651? Did you realize you needed a file this game? Oh, uh, we filed... This guy is no, we, muted, apparently, because I can't hear him. When did you realize you needed to file? I mean, what do you have? So, we a little bit earlier. Yeah. I mean, considering that? that in October. Right. So, okay. I would say, uh, middle of 2019 was basically, you know, when I, I realized there was no way that I was going to... <laughs> creditor getting dial-up sounds, as uh, any cre creditor gets. ...be able to handle you know, what was going on financially in my life anymore. There was no way to get out of it. If there's predators on the line, oh, so if not... If there's predators on the line. ...in October, and so... Yeah, I don't care oh, about fucking October. October 2019, I was still, you know, actively using lines of credit and making payments towards the credit. Okay, and do you still have any purchases from those lines of credit in your possession? Oh, there's the guy. So now what he asks is, after you declared, um, what was it, insolvency, right? Okay, when you knew you were going to go and be bankrupt, did you buy any other stuff on credit? That's the question. Sell them, or where's that property now? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? You cut out yet again. Sure. Uh, the purchase that you made with your... Now, this is a allegedly a troll. This is not a representative of Citibank. Credit lines, following your realization that you were insolvent, do you still have those purchases? Uh, it's cutting out, but keep going. The purchases that were made with the credit line. Yes, the purchases that he made with the credit line, after realizing he was insolvent, does he still have that property in his possession? Uh, most of the purchases that I would have made with any kind of lines of credit would have been things such as groceries, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. It's not like I was buying anything. Uh, it's not like I bought a Lamborghini. Like, this fucker, he's so stupid. So stupid. He can't even answer a question like this. Just say no. No, I didn't buy anything. No. Period. That's it. No, I, I don't know if this guy bought Phil's debt from the bank. I, I don't know if he did. I actually don't. Again, uh, for personal property or anything like that. Now, if you have specific questions about, you know, prep purchases, listen, listen, obviously listen. I could talk with you behind the scenes about that. I don't know specifically what you're referencing. but At the fucking bankruptcy hearing, this dude is talking about talking behind the scenes with you. How shady is this man? I'm going to talk to you behind the scenes and not at my actual bankruptcy hearing that things are about. Jesus Christ. And I'm, it blows my fucking mind how his bankruptcy went through.
it blows my mind. And I'm pretty sure it's because of trolling activity and he made himself to be the biggest victim alive and that's how it just went through. There is no other explanation. There is literally no other explanation. It's just fucking luck. I did not make, if, if you're, you know, trying to, to basically say that I bought a bunch of stuff and I still have it, uh, it only would have been business related stuff. And also his fucking vocabulary is literally like 20 fucking words. He can't even make a sentence that, like an original sentence, you know what I mean? Something that he doesn't say on his stream every day. Has to say behind the scenes. It has to say, well, you know what I'm saying or oh, this is what you're trying to say. No, DSP, make a fucking sentence like a 40-year-old man that you are. And, or, you know, necessities like grocery shopping and things like that, to my knowledge. Okay. And the other question I would have then is, if, if it was business-related stuff, um, you're, you, you, still I heard you mentioned that you had a lot of um, equipment, um, PS4s, things like that. You're saying that you owned these prior to realizing that you were insolvent, correct? Uh, when you think about that, I would say yes. That's correct. Okay. And... and and other business expenses like purchasing games um, for your streaming content company. Uh, you you purchase these games also with. Hey, let me let me just reword that. Have you purchased any games um, since October? In October. And uh, this is a hot take, but I think you know at the time when this came out, this troll guy, this guy that was on the call, he was the the best guy alive. He was epic. But uh, I think he actually made it easier for DSP. Because when you have guys like this that hop on the call and try and like make shit harder for you, the fucking bankruptcy people can uh, take this as you being a massive victim. And this is what kind of irritates me. Because if they just let... And a lot of the time it's kind of like that. If the trolls or, you know, people who don't like DSP, if they let him just do what he does. He would stab himself in the foot much more than if they tried to fuck with him. And when they fuck with him, they make him look like a massive fucking victim. Pretty crazy. October? Yeah. On credit lines, are you specifically right. referring to? Or yes, on credit lines. Well, I'm trying to establish no, okay. where insolvency was realized so that we can sort of come to an understanding that... However... He has a very good fucking question, which comes a little bit later on. It's Any uh, purchase we're almost towards the end, but it, there's a little bit more. Made on credit post insolvency wouldn't be dischargeable. Yeah, no, I did not make any purchases uh, on credit after my initial conversation with my bankruptcy attorney in October. Okay, and that, that's sure. Another thing too. <laughs> Um, so you made all these purchases for these equipment systems. I'm assuming that's the bulk of your uh, your business expenses as far as, you know, having to buy the equipment, having to buy the games, things like that. Uh, reviewing your filing, it looks like you, you stated here that you have about $5,000 a month in business expenses. Can you... $5,000 a month of business expenses. $5,000. Oh, my God! Subscription, subscription. Still, you know, oh, <laughs> $5,000 of business expenses per month. And a month has usually 30 days. So divide this and see how much fucking DSP spends for quote unquote business fucking expenses. The guy who has an asset uh, value of $1,500 spends 5000 And yes, this is five. With three zeros after it, dollars on fucking business expenses, quote unquote. There's no person alive who is like a DSP and spends five thousand dollars on business expenses. There is no way in hell that DSP spends five thousand dollars on business expenses. No, no fucking way. No way. Oh my god! Can you itemize that for me? Yeah, right. itemize it. Give me some perspective of where that $5,000 a month goes. $5,000. There are not enough games in a month that can't come out. And if you buy all of them, you're going to spend $5,000. What do you, what can you think of off the top of your head? Has DSP bought as a business expense per month? Okay, a couple of games, that's fine. 
That's perfectly fine. That's his business. Uh, did he buy a green screen? Did he buy a new camera? Did he buy a new microphone? Did he buy a new PC? Did he buy a new console every month? How does this fucking shit work? Please let me know. Oh, and now he's uh, he's talking to his uh, attorney. He's like, oh, you know, I don't know if he's legit. I, I think he's a fucking troll. He's a, a mentally ill uh, fucking idiot moron shithead. But in the end of the day, people like this helped DSP get his stupid fucking bankruptcy that he lied so much about. Fucking crazy. Okay, quiet. Um, Silence of the Lambs. Nancy, they're, I, I'm not sure huh? if this person is for Citibank. I think he's a troll. He's a fucking troll. Let's ban him from the call. I'm sorry, excuse me? Uh, I'm not sure. Are, are you... I, I'm... I'm calling a, really I'm calling representing Citibank. Yes, yeah, Citibank. What, what are you talking about? Right, are you an attorney or a, like, what's your position at Citibank or... I work in collections. And DSP, throughout this entire call, was hiding behind his attorney. Like, the big man he is. He tells you about banning you. He tells you about... Uh, beating the fuck out of people who tr would troll him in real life. Like, if somebody comes to his door and trying to troll him, he's gonna beat the shit out of you. DSP was hiding behind this lady, who is not very smart herself. Throughout this entire call, this is your king of hate. This is the king of fucking gameplay. <laughs> uh, this doesn't seem... Um... This seems like a sort of an attempt to back out of answering the very trans... That's literally what it is. It's literally what it is. Because DSP can't give you more than two things. That is a fucking business expense. Come on. Parent question reviewing these... Because they don't exist. He clearly, in any universe that DSP exists, he doesn't have 5,000... thousand human dollars. And I'm talking about from the planet Earth from the country of the United States of America, the American dollar, that's the currency I'm talking about, 5,000 of them per month, he doesn't fucking have it in business expense. It just doesn't exist. It never happened, as DSP would say. So he can't put it in, in words or itemize it because it never happened. It doesn't exist. ...files, which is that he has no, $5,000 a month in business expenses, which does not make any sense in collections at Citibank appear on a case, so this seems a little strange. We'll answer the questions, but okay, it just... Great. I mean, we've been answering the questions. Hold on just a second. Where are you seeing $5,000 a month on business expenses? Uh, he's listed over $5,000 a month on expenses, so he's got $5,000 a month in income, $5,000 a month in expenses, and basically the, the gross income that he's claiming it's that he's... It's very coincidental that he has $5,000 of income and $5,000 of expenses. It almost makes it seem like the dude isn't making any money. He should declare bankruptcy. Totally. He's making us $35. So Wait, I'm, sorry. I'm referring to his initial bankruptcy filing. Okay. Yes. So where are the five thousand dollars a month in business expenses? Um, I think I've already was... explained. Okay, let me Wait. let me back up. A I've minute, already explained. <laughs> uh, let me let me explain to you. That's not begging. That's business. That's the explanation, basically. Might be looking at it a little bit wrong. Um, and maybe if I could give you a little bit of clarification as to the way these forms are intended to be used, that might answer something, and then you can ask your question again. Sure. Schedule J asks him to list out various expenses he has. This is a personal bankruptcy. And so he's listed things like rent and food and utilities and, and clothing, things like that. Yeah, that's, seeing... it's, it's literally fraudulent. It, he doesn't have these expenses that are bankruptcy-worthy expenses. He doesn't have them. It's very simple. He spends his money, as we get to see firsthand right now, he spends his money on alcohol, ordering food, and microtransactions in a Candy Crush video game. 
That's what his money goes to. And fucking Nancy was too incompetent to figure it out. Everybody else figured it out. The woman whose job was to figure it out couldn't because she didn't know what PayPal was. In the, the schedule, that totals up to be about 5000 a little bit, excuse me, a little bit more than that. Is that the number that you're referring to as business expenses? Yes. If, if, that's, if that's claimed as personal expenses instead, I would still like to get an idea of, of how exactly he itemizes that. Because the amount of income that I'm seeing, uh, uh, he's claiming that it varies, but the time that he filed, it just happened to be during a very high spike in, uh, in expenses, which doesn't really make any sense to me. Okay, do you have the schedule? What the fuck? As long as we've established that he's realized that he was insolvent in October, that's, that's really all I needed, so it's fine. I mean, I don't want to cut your questions off. I'm just trying to make sure that you're understanding the forms the way they're intended. Right, I understand. He's claiming that he's got five. Did you make sure DSP understands the form the way they're intended before he lied like five times until he submitted the actual documents? Yeah, he tried to get away with so much stuff. You could see in, on the initial filing, he said he doesn't have a cat. He doesn't have any pets, but he has Jasper. And uh, apparently, thanks to the leaks, we get to see that he spent... Way too much money on Jasper for somebody who begs. Tell me about it. Dollars a month in expenses and only five thousand dollars a month in income and nets about thirty-five dollars, which still doesn't really make any sense to me when he's claiming that he gets a thousand dollars from YouTube, um, four thousand dollars from Twitch. That's five thousand right there. But then he's also claiming that he gets these donations or tips or or whatever it is through his through his stream itself, which is separate from the service paying him for streaming. Hey. I understand your question. Do you have a further explanation, Mr. Bernal? I've already explained. I, I've already broken down how my expenses work. <laughs> I don't know what this, uh, this gentleman this is gentleman referencing specifically. This fucking troll who's going to get banned from my phone call? Going to get banned from my chill and interactive bankruptcy? Um, you know, I, all the information is there, so I don't know exactly what he's looking for. Okay. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. How... I'm just a simple dark side Phil. I play games and I chill. I don't understand. What is this bankruptcy thing about? Just asking you to explain your expenses. Which and at, at this time, Which by the way, at, at this time, he was still, let me remind you, he was still paying thousands in WWE Champions microtransactions. So this, this guy that pretends like there is nothing going on, he has no idea what's going on, he was still wailing on WWE. Feels good. Sounds good. Um, then it must be good, I guess. Fun. So why are you asking again? I why do not see anywhere that adds up to $5,000 in expenses troll? monthly. Or, or that warrants paying extra money for video games and things post-October when you realize that you were insolvent. Right, but what you're talking about is strictly related to Citibank purchases. Is if, if I'm understanding this correctly you're wondering if there were any purchases after October. yeah that's fucking cringe let's uh let's twist the question dude asked a very simple question what is the fucking business expenses for and how is there five thousand of them a month have five thousand dollars that's quite a, a lot of money you can buy like five ps5s from a scalper i guess pretty much that's a lot of stuff October on the Citibank cards, but you have access to I'm asking to about statements. any cards, any lines of credit. I'm trying to figure out when he realized he was insolvent and if he continued making credit purchases after that time. And we've already, st he's already stated that he is not. Okay, as long so as that's I'm, on the record, great. Thank you. That's, that was on the record, yes, Thank earlier. You. Uh, do you have any other questions? Nope, that's it. Yeah, yeah, this guy kind of made it a little bit e easier for DSP. So, yeah, kind of sucks. But, you know, it was a good troll. When it happened, it was, there was a lot of hype. As you can see, the, the chat at the time, it went crazy. Everyone was super hyped, super excited. But uh, in the end of the day, DSP gets away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. I know. But uh, that's kind of how it works. Okay. Are there other creditors on the phone who want to ask questions? No. Nobody on the phone? 
Now would be the time to unmute and ask a question and identify yourself. And there's 60 people in the call, as we heard, but nobody wants to unmute. Nobody wants to ask a question. Um, yeah. Which kind of makes me think that if literally nobody interfered with this bankruptcy, things would have been worse for DSP. But I can just speculate. I don't know. Um, as far as I know, for content, it was much better that people fucked with it. And it was much more fun and interactive. You know what I mean? Um, so let's let's just finish this up. If there are no further people on the phone who are going to ask questions or identify themselves, I have no further questions. Is that someone jumping in? Okay. Why am I poisoning? Why am I toxic? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, we got because the why am I toxic people. You have the identification information with you. So uh, that was it for this stream, you guys. Thank you to everyone who came and checked out the stream and stuck around and uh, texted something in chat. It's pretty fucking awesome, chill, interactive, you know what I mean. And uh, my camera died in the last portion of the stream, but that doesn't really matter. This video is going to be up with you on YouTube in just a couple of minutes. And uh, that's it. Thanks, everybody, for checking this out. You can... Uh, as always, if you want to support the channel, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, you can leave a comment on YouTube. Uh, it helps with the, uh, how do you call it, the algorithm. You can go follow me on Twitch, that's the place where I'm going to release gaming stuff, when I release gaming stuff. And you can go follow me on uh, Instagram, which it's all under the same handle, you can see it on your screen. And uh, thank you everybody, and I'll see you next time.